Okay guys, welcome back to Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows. This is episode 3. We just stole the Chalice of St. Edgar. We're actually going to go to a... You could... I mean, if you look at the official walkthrough, I think they said that uh, you're supposed to do... The next mission is the second mission in the game, but whatever. We're going to do it as a third. Um, I find St. Edgar's a little bit easier, but other people don't, so... Oh, did... Oh yeah, we already had that one. You can buy three levels more um, to practice. Although I, I don't really see the point. It is cool that you can though, if you want to. Little things you can buy for your apartment. I wish there were, I, I honestly wish there were like furnishments you could buy. You know, like you could get a nicer table or a nicer bed or like a plate of food or something that would like heal you or whatever. something like that. That would be even cooler, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, same thing. We start off in Garrett's apartment and I am just gonna make sure we are recording. Yes, we're recording. Perfect. Landlord's office. I wonder if the guard, where's the guard? Did he get fired because, uh, because I had him passed out drunk? I mean, I made it look as if he passed out drunk on the floor. Ah, what is this? Very nice. No notes this time what's in here. Also, I think it's funny that you can pick up this and toss it around. Uh, I'll toss it around after we knock out the guard. Put him on this bench this time. Huh. There we go. Let's get the let's get the old giant pot out here. This guy's such a pothead. <laughs> Look at this thing is massive. You can just toss it around. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This guy had a wild party out here. Wild. Drinking. Booze. Pot. Tray. Well, yeah. Maybe he used the tray as a reflective surface for something. Um, and, you know, a broom. As you do. There we go. And uh, what else can we... I think that's it. I'm actually going to save real quick. Because, well, first of all, I'm going to do a hard save because we haven't done one for uh, getting back out of that last mission. So we're going to go over to our fences. And, um, I just want to see if I can light this. Uh, it acts more like an explosive, but you see that it shoots everything back. That's pretty cool. So we're just going to go ahead and load the hard save. Yeah, load it, please. I want to conserve fire arrows for the time being. Oh, that's annoying. We gotta restart the soundtrack. I like the hum of the electric lights. Very good sound design again. You know. I hope the music starts at some point. I hope I didn't completely glitch it out. He's awake tonight. They're both awake. Okay, something's up with the sound. Should be hearing more. Yeah, the sound is glitched. We're gonna reload that last save. Load properly sound. I think it's just glitched now. I hope it's not permanently glitched. I hope I don't have to restart the game. That would suck. Oh yeah, two lefts. Did this guy have anything valuable? I don't remember. I don't see it. Do you guys see anything? I don't see anything. It's just stuck there like a weirdo. Alright, we're going.
Yeah, we should be hearing the fireplaces and torches and music and some other stuff, so. It's a little strange. Don't see anything sparkly just yet. Is this the same book? Think it. Yeah, but it's the Mary same book is just not as quick as she used to be. It was nearly half past seven before the fire was built up this morning. It was quite chilly when it came time for breakfast. I do love fireplaces and real fires, man. I mean, I have one right now. I have access to one. and um, But, you know, I'm in Arizona right now. And honestly, we just haven't had a very cold winter. Um, it's been incredibly warm. Um, we've had very few cold days. And also, firewood is expensive. I used to harvest my own, but uh, we're kind of running out of good stuff, like good big logs, so I don't know. But, uh, yeah, my wife really wants to move someplace cold, and I fucking hate the cold. But the one thing I would like about the cold is just being able to have the fireplace lit, like, basically all the time. Um, that would make me very happy. Let's see her over here. You know, yeah. you should really have that looked at. I am looking at it. I mean, by a doctor. No, I'll knock her out later and take her bracelet. Just a scratch or a laceration or something. Anyways, doctors cost money. Am I right? Suit yourself. I'm not scared of doctor if that's what you're thinking. Of <laughs> course not. I think the guard conversations are the best in this game. Okay, so yeah, so this is where we knocked out Lady Elizabeth and uh, her goons. Um, I think we killed one of her goons. Uh, now they're stationed out here to watch the building, but I'm surprised that we're not finding any more loot around here. But that's just maybe the breaks. We're just gonna climb up here again. <laughs> Much like the original Thief games, Thief 1 and 2, uh, once you get used to the little idiosyncrasies and quirks in the jank of the game, you actually get pretty good at, at controlling it exactly how you want to. You know? I remember the first time I played it, at the end, I just, you know... I never had issues at the end with platforming and anything like that, you know? But, um... Oddly enough, though, I think I've only finished this game twice. Say. City, oh yeah, this is much like uh, Dishonored. City Watch Crime Report District. The following criminal incidents occurred last evening in the vicinity of South Court. One citizens were murdered. Four citizens were rendered unconscious by a blow to the head. 29 items of valuable property were reported stolen. Zero locks were unlawfully picked open. The above is a true and complete record of all events. All residents encouraged to report suspected incidents of crime within their City Watch Authority. Sign the office of the commissioner. Okay. I think it's after this mission that looking we... looking for the bakery, are you? Am I looking for the bakery? No, I'm not looking for the bakery. Let's see if I can. See, I wish you could pickpocket people's, like, bracelets and stuff, but you can't. You have to knock them out to take it. It's so it's weird. Long day. I don't Maybe actually remember that. Be some of that part-time work down over at the factory. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put the brightness back on. It's a little bright. Because we turned it up for that last mission. Brightness. Because I don't like playing with it, with it too high. I feel like the world has more contrast and the lighting is richer when the brightness is down a little bit, you know. Let's see if there's any more ransom money in this, uh, or blackmail money in this. Nope. Oh, there is. Yeah, great. We can keep uh, robbing them. That's what I figured. I figured that's always a good place for... Uh-oh. Is that Lady Elizabeth and her goons? What's going on down here? Hello, Fred. Ah, sure, sure. I ain't heard it, and neither has Percy. Okay, okay. It was a night, just like tonight. And I was walking all alone up near the cradle. Where? Ooh. The Shale Bridge Cradle. Used to be an orphanage till something terrible happened. Murderers got in, or some big fire. Who's telling this story, huh? So, I was out walking, minding my own business, when I heard something. A voice. Like a child weeping. And so, I started up...
up those steps. Don't tell me you went in there. Hush. I got as far as the door and put my hand on the knob and then... Yes? Yes? The child's voice, as clear as anything. I'll never forget. She says, no, go back. You can't help me. Run for your life. What did you do? What any sensible bloke would do. I'd run for my life, didn't I? I'm here telling you the story, ain't I? All I gotta say is, don't ever go near that place. Never. Now, who's buying the beer? A little foreshadowing to the uh, Shalebridge Cradle mission coming up. And these are just cutthroats and thieves like myself, so no need to worry about them. They're all, they're all pretty chill. And they don't have anything on them, so I'm not going to knock them out. Let me know what I can do for you, Garrett. Why are you so pissed at me? Fuck you. I didn't do anything uh, I gotta say, I'm still hurting all over from that roughing up I got. Yeah, whatever, man. I know you sold me out. Only you could nab this much stuff, Garrett. Did you leave those folks anything? 100%. We're two for two now. Um, I aim to keep it that way through the rest of the game, to be honest. Are we looking for anything special tonight, sir? Well, I would like to stock up on some more. You only have one water arrow? Okay, I'll do that. Glad we could be of service. Uh, I would like to get some more of these. We I'll hope you find everything you need those. with this quarantine. So we are cut off from arrows. our regular suppliers for a while. Might buy health. Not now, though. And I'm good on everything else, so... Yeah, I'm good. Alright, so I think we're actually ready. I would... I mean, if he sold moss arrows, I'd be down, but he doesn't. And, uh... Well, I mean, we could try and make it all the way over to uh, the other fences, Black Market Bertha and such. Which we might do, actually. Let's check out how difficult it's going to be. Because the next mission's right there. Actually, you know what? We've done enough stuff in the city for right now. I don't think a lot of the stuff's going to reset, like, loot and stuff for a while. So, we're honestly better off just doing the next mission before we get involved um, in the city stuff. We can go back to do that stuff after this mission, I think. Yeah, let's make another save here. Just in case we do decide we want to come back. want me to steal an object from the pagans called the Jack Knoll's Paw. It's a mummified hand. Charming. But then what should I expect from a strange cult of unpredictable primitives who worship the ancient trickster god? No one's heard much about the pagans lately, but Artemis gave me a tip about this South Quarter neighborhood, and I've heard rumors of break-ins and howling in the night. This tunnel is going the right way. I can smell it vegetation and rot. Stealing from the pagans is never easy or smart. They and their creatures don't have any love for me. When I'm done, the keepers better come through on their part of the bargain. I don't like risking my neck for nothing. Severed hands don't pay rent. Okay, objective. Steal the jackknoll's paw from the pagans. When your other objectives are complete, leave by way of the Pagan Tunnels. It would be helpful to have a map of the Pagan Territory. I did not get one, but I think there's probably one in the mission. Although I usually don't use them, as you've seen. Uh, goals, gear... Okay, let's go ahead and start.
What'd you stop for? Shh. I'm trying to listen. You never know. Could be something up ahead. You mean like the silver nuggets you said was down here? I said I heard there might be silver or gold in some mines, maybe around here. Yeah. But, uh, I heard there might be something else, too. Like what? Like, maybe some strange people down here. Like maybe they don't want no visitors. Don't want anyone knowing they're here. Aw, oh, Taffet, Bert. You don't mean you brought us into pagan territory. Pagans? Taffet, cripes. I thought I smelled something off. Let's beat it. Did they find us here? Um, about that, we can't beat it. Because we's lost. But I'm open to suggestions. And, uh, we should try to keep it down, okay? But we ought to send one of us up ahead. Make sure it's all clear. Well, I ain't going. No tiff taffin' way. Uh, we do eeny meeny for it. Ready? Eeny meeny miny. No, oh, never mind. I'll do it. You watch my back. Here I go. All this for some taffin' silver nuggets you ain't even sure is here. Good luck. I'm watching your back. Yell if you see any pagans or gold. Okay, that's over. We're gonna investigate their little campsite here. Oh, that's cool. If they walk by the crates, they knock this down. That's neat. I like that. Because I was like, I was thinking, I was like, how's I gonna get that health health potion? Sure. Any. <laughs> Nothing bees oh. moves anywhere. Them shadows could hide much. Better check. Don't check anything. Go in this way. You leave me alone. Ooh, money. Thought I see oh, sparkly. Yeah, but I be is wrong. There be nothing to see. There is bees nothing to see here. All right, let's go ahead and save again. We got through that little bit. Oh, a fire arrow. Nice. Six <clears> percent. <throat> it's gonna be a while. Do want to get that hundred percent loot again? Three for three, guys. I hate that you can't recover arrows. You totally can. That's good. They just have to be shot into a surface that won't destroy them. Much like the original Thief. I just, I was thinking, I'm like, why would... I can't imagine Warren, because Warren Spector was a creative director, or just a director on this game. I can't imagine he'd take a feature like that out. You know what I mean? Like, I just can't. And I know there's a way to climb up here. Somehow. save because if we <laughs> don't climb these right yeah this actually does go somewhere uh, I don't think we're supposed to be up here it's pretty cool though yeah let's 
this is just ah! yeah, good. I don't want to lose that much health. Load game, yes, please. Okay, so we got that. There is actually another like set of rafters as a way to sneak through this mission. I got those wisps that illuminate everything. Let's make a return. Well, actually, we don't take out many more pagans after this. Um, in fact, we endeavor not to. Hold on. Yeah, I was about to say, there's got to be maximum limits for things in this game. Because I was just like, otherwise it would be way too easy. You could just load up. I think the final boss, technically you can't kill the, How the AI. How is it done? Oh, First, on. Diane, priestess of wood, give us enchantment and beset them minds. Yes? Then the man fools, thinker they be acting of them own free will, does whatever we want. Ha! <laughs> Stupid, weeksy man fools. And then? Then, after the magics wear off, the damage be's done. And if there be's a problem. Larkspur seals them deal with more other persuasions. Yeah, or he be's just kills them. But uh, as I was saying, the final boss. Um... You can't get the AI to go away, but you can Seize me something uh, over there. You can despawn the model. Pa, what bees I worried about. You can despawn the boss's model and it, once it's the model's despawned, I don't think it can do any more damage to you. That actually happened to me one time. Cuz it has a certain HP pool. It's huge, but if you just stock up on bombs and mines and fire arrows and all sorts of stuff. I mean, it's... Yeah, let me try and take her out. I don't know which way she's gonna turn, but... What's that? All right. Of course. Always the way, always right behind them. They never just continue around a circle. Always turn right behind them. 180, every time. Oh my god, fucking camera got melody. So we can some more gems right there. Good. Two notes. Cress and Backy, finders you anyone or anything in them minds that bees not a pagan, then bees you deading it and feed her them fleshes to the blood roots. Bees we must stay or secret it, shaman single. Oh, this guy. Okay. This was the guy guarding the... Let's 
just gonna leave him right there. It's pretty dark right here. Check around him for loot. Not seeing any silver or anything in the walls. See, this sound design is, again, because it's the original team that did the sound design and soundtracks and everything for the original. Is that fish still alive? I'm gonna go cook it. Is there, yeah, I'm gonna go to the fire and cook it. I don't know if I used a level skip the last time I was checking out this game. But, uh... I, uh, I don't remember much. I remember a lot of St. Edgar's. I don't remember much of this level. Like I said, if I had to pick a level that's my least favorite, this would probably be one of them, if not the one. Fengwar, make your surezy leave for bees getting the map of the sanctuary to me before sunbreak. You not let him wasting time and hide in them sewers again, Woodbine. Let's just go ahead and quick save. I guess another one that I'm not super crazy about is... I'm trying to think. I don't want to spoil anything, but you have to... There's like a library type thing you have to sneak through, and there's a, some interesting enemies. go up here because there's a giant tree monster down here or maybe he's in here I forget where he's at yeah there he is I hate those things they terrify me don't come this way Sure, there was a ladder around here. That works. over here I think yes 32% now she's gonna come over here and we're gonna wait for her and then take her out uh, the tree monster I don't think there's actually anything in the water with him that we need to pick up so I'm not gonna bother taking him out but you can take him out with mines which I think we pick up in this this mission or I could have bought from one of the vendors Explosive mine, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Here we go, 34%, another explosive mine. Yeah, and I think they want you to use them on the tree monster things, but uh, again, it's not super necessary. They're pretty easy to sneak past in this area. You don't absolutely need to kill them. Actually, that's where the ladder is. That's why I always freak out. I'm gonna go deal with this lady over here. I do have to keep my eyes open for any potential treasure down there. Take this one out too. Really, dude? Oh my god. And I 
think, I don't know if, if they can, but I think those tree monsters can come up here. And I think those are the things that are chasing you in Thief 2. In that one area. Some sprite or pixie player that tricks on me. There be nothing here. Uh, right, let's just go ahead and make a hard save because we've been quick saving like crazy. I think the next full mission is Lady Moira's Mansion, but keep in mind, this is also one of those games that sometimes the things that you have to do in the city streets are like missions in and of themselves, so it's not, just because that's the the next like sort of official mission after this does not mean that it's going to be like pretty quick. We still have to go to the docks, we still have to do a bunch of stuff. Like I said, guys, one of the reasons I'm knocking everybody out is to make sure I can get that 100% loot. And also explore all the levels. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm kind of very excited to see all of the different bits of the levels that I forgot. Like this one. I remember this area for sure, but I, you know, some bits right at the beginning I didn't necessarily remember super well. And there's nothing valuable there. Distract the the, my, uh, the rats with food? No, I don't think so. Okay, so I got the map. Thirty nine percent loot. We've got the map. Let's get moving. There is a health potion. I think I'm gonna go get it. I don't think that. I think that, I mean, maybe it can come up here. I don't know. He's the only one on the level, too, so there's not that much to worry about, either. But as I said, I'm not sure if they can come up on these ramps or not. Yeah, Pagan Sanctuary. There we go. That's where we want to be. Now, there's a way to get up there, and you can circumnavigate a quite a bit of stuff up there, so I'm very curious to check it out. To havering the jackal's paw, first must be done the ritual of the root. None can take of the paw without the ritual, which be is known only to a shaman. If them paw is tookered without the ritual, them jackal's paw bees wills kills. The jackal's paw bees wills kills they that tookered it. The foolsy pug leaf bees deaded it this way in his forgetting. Bees will none of will none us ever forgets again. None us ever forget again. Out. So we gotta I learn just get on with things. There be nothing to see here. I also like that this is sort of a twilight. If you look at the sky, it's like the sun is either just coming up or has just set. And I like that. I always like sort of the, the not pure nighttime missions of Thief. If you guys have watched my Thief 2X uh, review, you definitely know there's like an entire daytime mission. Cragscliff Prison is technically daytime as well. Take her out. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, he's in another room. She's right here. She's gonna turn around. Watch. Uh. Oh, she didn't. Great. Fantastic. Just tea posing. Just tea posing in my. Death throws. She'll be fine. Okay, let's go 
go ahead and save again. Actually, I'll do a hard save too. So we're finally in the sanctuary. I don't know how far I'm going to take it on this episode. I think maybe to the docks. Um, I'd be really interested to play Lady Mortis as soon as possible, but um, I also don't want to be up too late. It's starting to get a bit late. I feel like if we get to Lady Mortis and then I do that, because that can be a fairly long mission, about an hour, two hours or so. So, you know, if it's already like 1 or 2 a.m., I don't want to be starting that mission. <laughs> I think we can get, yeah, we can get all the way over there. We can do all of this stuff. test this part they clearly want you to climb up there <laughs> like oh my god it's so slidey this kind of shit annoys me in this game <laughs> okay there we go back to normal ish actually i don't like this i don't want to be here i want to be over there and i don't think i can walk on that pipe the whole way so try and jump over to the sections that I want to be on. Seriously? Ah, oh, stupid platforming. <laughs> there we go. That's where I want to be. I'm just going to quick save because I don't want to do all that again. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Did I remember to get... Yeah, okay, good. Sorry, guys. I'm going to take a five-second uh, lavatory break. Um, I would pause the recording through OBS, but I have seen that completely ruin recordings before, so I'm just going to mute the mic, run out for a second, so just give me one second.
Sorry, guys, I forgot to unmute my mic. Anyways, I hope you've been reading along with me. One day, I don't want to worry, Harriet, but I daren't go in the garden. I used to go and check on things, but now I'm an unwelcome stranger, and most of the crops I don't recognize. What do they need all those people for? I asked about a hole they were digging, and Scythe gave me a look, put a chill right down my spine. Thursday. I'm going to confront Scythe. A man should be able to walk in his own garden without fear. And for what? Carrots and apples? This arrangement with the pagans hasn't worked out, and now it ends. We never agreed to all these strangers coming and going, and we never agreed to those horrible things, whatever they are. So, uh, the, from what the conversation we uh, heard overheard earlier between two pagans and uh, that writing, we can glean from this that the pagans were... Oh, damn, I can't go through here. That's a shame. Uh, the pagans fed... Uh, <clears throat> enchanted plums to this family who owned this estate um, and basically brain manipulated them into like, oh my god uh, dude why didn't they fix stuff like, like why put all this holy crap I do have to quick save just to be able to be like, oh well I didn't, I mean I've never thought the platforming in this game was particularly brilliant or anything, but, uh, man, it's starting to get real frustrating. Um, yeah, apparently they, they, uh, hypnotize the family to let them use the garden. Ooh. Fantastic. Um, and then basically just took it over, and, uh, I think they started spawning the tree monsters and stuff in there. You bees crowding me. Bees this right? Seriously? God damn. Bees this right, Driftwood? You bees crowding me. For some reason, Garrett will jump in the direction he's facing and not the direction you're controlling, which is weird. As I said, the platforming and the slidey physics, like, they should have worked on that a little bit better. And that's one of the reasons why the sort of simple geometry of... Ah! Whoever you... You bees found! Ha! You bees did it! I need your help here! Ah! Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, we're gonna load. I may actually kill her. I don't want to deal with her bullshit. <laughs> nah. What if me bees wounded? I bees ready. Benders like there has got to be a cancel arrow button. I really got to look that up. jump that sucks sorry about this guys get ready for four or five more episodes of me just trying to make this jump i like how i make the jump as i'm making a joke about how impossible it is to make the jump but such is life Hmm, that old gear looks precarious. Someone could have an accident. Takers no enemy for prisoners. Feeders them man fools to them earths. Where the hell did she go? There's no stairs. Oh, there is. It's right there. High bees ready. So. Carefuls. I'm gonna try this. Bees, bees. What's this bee? <laughs> It didn't even kill him. Maybe it killed one of them. So that worked out okay. Again, here's the thing. In another game, that would be totally scripted. In a War Inspector design game, it wins some, you lose some. Because uh, that was purely based on the physics and everything like that of the game. I don't think I killed anybody, but I severely injured somebody. So that's pretty cool. 
Like I said, you can circumnavigate a lot of this map just by staying up in the rafters. This game stays committed to a lot of the verticality that really made Thief what it is. If it wasn't them wind, <clears throat> and it wasn't. If they made a new Thief game, Doesn't I'm kind of split. Part of me would like to see them place now. it in another part of the Thief universe, and another part of me wants to see a modern rendition with even better graphics of the city and some of the stuff that we know from Thief. Of course, you could do both. You could have the first part of it set in a city, and then Garrett has to go somewhere. Um, and there, you know, Based on the ending of this game, there are quite a few interesting things that you could do uh, with the plot of another Thief. <laughs> He's nothing can grow in here. Not even them blood vine or butterweed. I see ze. Do you thinks? Think as me them hammerheads put curses on it. Shaman well, another one the here. only one with magics to fight the hammerheads. Or them priestess, Diane. Yes, but she be's busy with more important works. I thought I just saw a piece of loot up here. Am I losing my mind? Oh no, it was just a crack in the map. Well, let's see. I don't even know where we're going. I personally think this one's harder than St. Victor's Church. But... Or Cathedral. Excuse me. I can't tell if that's loot or not down there. I'm going to go check it out, regardless. Ah. Uh, now I kind of want to use one of those mines. spot where I can put the thing. Alright, so let me... <laughs> that should work. Oh, there's a ladder. Great. And I'll steal whatever this is. Oh, it's just a water arrow. Okay. I want to see if he's going to die if he hits that. He should, yeah. Let's see. Let's check it out. He's right on... Right on... <laughs> nice. Stupid tree monster. Why bees you making so much noisings? Bees you want me to find you? Go ahead. Make them noises. So I bees find you. I always hoard my equipment when I play games like this, but in this playthrough, I'm just gonna use it to have fun. I know you be there. I hear see you. Because since I'm used to playing it without equipment, it doesn't matter if I run out. I'll just be like, whatever. I'm not gonna equipment. I'm used to that. All right, let's go ahead and make a hard save here. Took out a tree monster, which means we can run around with him. No, 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 no. Do not restart. Pagan Sanctuary. I think, yeah, that's the one we just did. Okay. Alright, fantastic. Whatever sounded before, it be silent now. <laughs> Maybe I'd be scared it away. Oh, she wasn't even anywhere near us. Great. Mommy doesn't know who the dancing men are, but they come to my window and whisper as I comb my hair in the moonlight. They know things about olden times. Mommy doesn't know anything. Dancing men wants me to come with them, but I don't think Mummy would like it. I'm hiding my golden comb in my bedroom rafters, just in case. They wants me to come, give plumsies and teases me. Warm nights coming and long, long summer. Uh, they turned her into a psychotic pagan. Great. And uh, the comb should be up here somewhere.
actually. Wouldn't it be above her bed? This is her bedroom. Aha, there we go. Very nice. Powers of deduction. I think this is Diane. save because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with her. I could kill her. In fact, I might. It's way easier. <laughs> do need to buy or find some more of these though. That's for sure. Definitely remember this sound from uh, the old Thief games. So now that we got another one of these, yeah, let's go ahead and heal up because I think 10 is the max you can hold. So we're just gonna go ahead. Ritual of the Root. Givers th three gifts in the taproot uh, cave. Givers them each the givering on the givering altar markings. Givers first the water on the givering altar for the heart oak to takers for the paw. Bees the first and olders of the gifts of the woodsy Bees the water feeders the plants, bees the water feeders the birds and the foxers, bees the water feeders the folk or the woodsy. Givers next the moss on the givering altar for the heart oak to take, to takers for the paw. Bees the second and greeners of the gifts of the woodsy. Bees the moss to feeders the trees, bees the moss to smooth the earth. Givers the last, givers last the blood or the fleshes of them bloody marking for the hard oak to takers for the paw bees the third and great yeah reading this guy's shit is ridiculous bees the third and greatest of the gifts of the woodsy bees the blood bees the lifters or lifers of the man bees feeders thems who eat hymns and bees keeps the tellings of the hearts so yeah this is diane a ritual for jack Knoll's paw huh looks like i'm on the right track water moss and uh, blood where I'm gonna get blood, I guess I'll use my own and cut my hand on it or something. We'll figure that out as we go. A sting. Over. No. Hey, what movesy? Nothing movesy, everyone chill out. Ah, it's her. I may snipe her too. I'm tired of having to walk up and clobber everybody. Nothings. What made me jumpers? be interesting to see a, a ghost or a no-kill speedrun of this game. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I be not even sure I heard anything anyway. She's gonna turn around, yeah. She's gonna turn around and come this way. That's when I'm gonna get her. And I'm just floating. Very cool. Let's go ahead and quick save again. Again, as uh, Stephen Russell would say. His interesting pronunciation that he uses. Let's see what 
what's going on over here. Ah, we're actually not that far from, yeah, this is not too bad. I know there's a lady that patrols around here that we need to take out, because I want to try and get some of the loot on the f ground floor over here, yeah. Here we go. She's gonna come this way. She might have fallen off, because I remember she went this way, and then that's it. Wow. I think she fell off and died. Cool. One less for me to deal with. Make another quick save. Uh, I got almost everything up there. I am going to double check up there again. There might be something on that ledge. Wait, hold on. Before I forget, I saw something over here I do not want to forget. Because I will forget it. First off, this, but more importantly, this. Nice. Silver dagger of some sort. There we go. And there's treasure down there, and now that I cleared out the tree monster, I can go grab it. Yeah, I like that there's only one hammer and one pagan mission in this game. Uh, the rest of the missions are about different factions entirely. Uh, and then, of course, the pagans and hammers still show up, but in a much different capacity. So I like that, too. Why are there so many empty chests around here? I don't like that. That bugs me. But uh, we mustn't forget there was a statue in that other room, too, to pick up. I want to take this guy out, though, so I can get through. That's a door. <laughs> Alright. Started off kind of like... You know, where the hell did we go? And now, it's all coming together. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. taking this one out either. <laughs> what the hell's going on with all these dead bodies? So I think the paw is down here, most likely. So we're just going to go back up there and make sure that we knock out everybody and take all the treasure that we may have missed. Um, so apparently the artifacts that we're stealing do not count towards our total loot. So that's kind of annoying. Okay, that's just a hole in the floor. Alright, so we're going to go here. That's just the door we came through. Okay, I think we got everything around this general area. So, okay. Reed, keep her them bronze beetles with you always. Bees, you never let it out of your sights. Dine told me she had a visioning it would be stolen from us by a city fool. Bees not let that happen. If you bees needs to sleep, then keepers it locked in something nearby. There be a strongsy chest where all where we all sleepsies. 
May the woodsy lord, them greats, and terrible tricksters be watching over you and our precious bronze beetle, Shaman Woodbine. job so far. I bet you there's going to be a nice bunch of loot down there as well. And we're, I think we're about to find one more special loot. But man, the Garrett getting stuck on everything and having clipping issues and stuff is it's kind of getting out of control here. And we can't forget to get the loot down there either. Like this? Attack with surprise. Like Strike with venom. This is the wrong area. That's okay. You bees crowding me. Crowding me. Takers, no enemy for prisoners. Feeders, them man so to the them. So the are preparing for war. Bees, I bees ready. Oh, not nows. Okay, let's go ahead and save. I bees ready. Benders like them reeds in the wind. Bees, you knowing where them bees? <laughs> nice. I need to buy more of those. I don't know if that was the best use of them, because they didn't see me, but I do want to kind of go around here and make sure that we have all of the loot here. We didn't kill any of them either with the fucking gear. That's what the whole thing... And I don't think it's ever worked for me. I've tried it multiple times, and that gear has never been wildly successful. All right, let's grab this. Okay, we're at 83 now. That We're getting up there, so that's pretty good. So we're going to go through this door. Well check this room. Dude, all I did was jump. That's getting... It's getting ridiculous. Uh, that's... And again, as I said before, when I played this um, many years ago, uh, this happened, but not as frequently, so I'm a little concerned. Like, I think it might be part of the sneaky upgrade or something um, that did this um, or it could be you know something sometimes things are tied to frame rate so if you're running at a much higher frame rate than the developers ever intended based on the tech of the time you know it may be screwing with things so you never know okay so we're good here we are gonna go up this ladder though I also don't like games that let you go up the ladders from the wrong side. Because it wastes time, so this game does that. It means I don't like this game. Yeah, this game sucks. You heard it. You heard it here first. This game is terrible. I kid, I joke. I joke, I kid. Okay, so you can go here, and then you can try and get on this pipe here and get it. Okay, so that's what that's for. It's kind of stupid. All right. Let's go back upstairs in this room, or series of rooms. Yeah, same key. So you can actually memorize, that's the other cool thing that's sort of like, it's sort of realistic and immersive in some sense because um, a lot of these doors would be locked with the same key because it's some old family estate, right? So that being the case, um, if you memorize the tumbler patterns, then, uh, then you, yeah, you'll know exactly, you won't have to guess, you'll know exactly how to lock it every single time, or unlock it, I mean, 
which is pretty cool. Actually, the reason I didn't go over here before is there's nothing, right? Wait, hold on. Maybe there's something in that pipe? No. Nope, nothing over here. Alright, so the last piece of treasure we're going to get from this part of the map before we go downstairs is, um, to the wine cellar or basement or whatever the hell that is, is, uh, we're going to grab the, um, well, hold on. Does, is this something important? Let me just check in here. Make sure there's nothing I missed in here. I like how I'm bitching so much about, you know, not being able to uh, cancel the knocking of an arrow once you've started. Um, but of course, I could easily just take five seconds to look it up, and I absolutely refuse to. <laughs> I'm so stubborn and stupid. I'm like, no. Yeah, we've been here. Okay. So, I'm gonna go back down this ladder. It's definitely beer 30. Here we go. Let's make one more quick save. Just jump over here and make sure we get that stupid thing down there. 88%. I sworn oh, there's a splash I saw from him dying. So I think we're ready to go down to the basement now. We've explored all of this and found all the treasure that we could. So, <clears throat> well, hold on. Did we go? Actually, I don't think we did it this way. Wait, I think we did. But I'm just going to double check. Uh, yes. We did. Okay. All right. Cool. So now we're going to... Like I said, guys, it's been a while since I played this game. I, I remember Lady Moira's Mansion fairly well. Um, St. Edgar, basically my favorite levels, I remember them very well. Um, I remember the layout of the Shalebridge Cradle, but not all of the stuff that you have to do while you're there. Because there's like some story-based stuff that like, it's like some, they switch up the gameplay and do some interesting things there, so I don't remember exactly all of that. Steals. What if he's gonna drown because I'm leaving him in the water like this? They definitely do that in Thief uh, 1 and 2. And it used to not count as a kill. I don't know if some of the T fixes and patches have made it count as a kill. But yeah, I remember there's one mission. Uh, I think it's the one where you have to escape from the Crippled Burke pub. And uh, if you toss him in the water. You can, you can knock out guards and you toss them in the water, they'll die, but uh, it doesn't count against you. No loot down here. Okay, good to know. Let's just check our loot real quick. Gear, loot. Sorry, I didn't read the percentage last time. Oh no, alright, we gotta go into gold sensor. 94%, okay, so we're pretty close to 100%. Which is really awesome. All shamans, to have ring the jackals, first must be done the ritual of the root. None can take of the paw without the ritual, which be knows only to a shaman. If the paw, blah blah blah. Okay, we already read that one. Here's the paw. Oh, there's great. There's another fucking tree monster. 
Fantastic. I gotta find out where his path goes. And then lay down something. A mine for him. If uh, anyone remembers Bioshock, where you go into uh, Arcadia, and there's that cult in the, in the, the like under the tree roots there with the little like grotto, um, I think that they were modeled after pagans, and I think it might even be an allusion to this part specifically. How did that not kill you, dude? That was bullshit. That's supposed to be a one-hit kill with those guys. I don't know how to do the blood part. Oh, you know what? I think I can grab that guy and take him over and shoot him. And, and yeah. So if I can't do the blood on my own, then we'll we'll try that. So I think that works. Also, this thing bleeds, but. We gotta grab a pagan and bring him over. I forgot about that. Or maybe a rat, I don't know. You know what, just for shits and giggles, if we find a rat, I'm gonna try it. I just wanna see how, uh, you know, if War Inspector was like, well, let me guess anything that's alive can be tossed on there. And I'll see why not. I think we can pick up dead rats. Yeah, I'm just curious, just experimenting. Being the mad scientist that I am. Now, of course, I won't be able to find a rat unless I backtrack to the beginning of the level or something. <laughs> of course. That would have been interesting to try. Wait, is that one? No, that's an actual dude. Alright, we'll just use the dude that's down there. I could have sworn I saw a rat down here earlier. We were doing stuff. I paid my respects. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is how he did it. This is why also this is not the game for you to do like a no kill run on, because it's not quite designed like that. Really? Okay, the so Jack Knoll's paw. We are well, I guess he's not using it any longer. We are missing one or two pieces of loot. Just gonna double 
check down here, make sure we didn't miss anything. So we have 90, 94 or 96, so we're one big piece or like two to three small pieces of loot away from 100%. chests over here that didn't have anything in them and I found that strange so we're gonna just double check those like this one Under the gear, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be real mad. <laughs> you know what? Let's go back upstairs and check that. That alcove looks a little suspicious. It looks like that could house some treasure. Are we sure there's nothing down here? I'm fairly certain. The only other place I can think is the canals and the sewers where the other tree monster is. Because um, I didn't check too carefully there, because I was like, oh, we can just check it on our way out. So. Honestly, we've combed this place, place, this place. We've combed this place pretty thoroughly, and haven't found anything. So <laughs> we went over there for sure. Okay, hold on. Double check. Hold on. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Damn it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we got everything up there. So. Yeah, I mean, the only other explanation is we missed some stuff in the sewers or the cave right at the beginning, like maybe a couple gold nuggets or something. So. I'm gonna. Ghouls. 94. Okay, so. check down in the sewers. 
So this is the oh, Jack Knoll's paw. Well, whatever. The keepers will be happy, but I doubt the pagans will be as pleased. That's a little. There are more of them in the city than anyone knew, and now their secret's out. I just hope that when they go hunting for their property, they don't come looking for me, too. That's cheap. They should let you go back out the way you came so you can double check if you missed any loot. But 94%, that's not bad, but that does suck. I would have loved to see that 100%. Okay, so what's the new objective? We're definitely going to do this. Uh, deliver the chalice to Artemis in uh, Tercy's Courtyard in Stone Market Plaza. Okay, so I'm actually going to go to Heartless Perry, sell my stuff, buy some more gear. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make a hard save. And make sure we are recording, of course, and... Yes, indeed we are. When he just he says like what's up? Look where you're going. How can I relax? <laughs> uh, do you think of a good compromising oh yeah, I've got it. I've got it, I've definitely got it this time. <clears throat> this guy sleeps a lot. Well, it is night. What <laughs> he sleeps once a day, I guess. It was a ridiculous statement. Did I steal all his worldly possessions? Cause he's got man, he's got nothing, man. Still, oh, yeah. these people don't. After I rob them blind, they don't go out and buy more valuable stuff. What the hell's wrong with them? And there's no which door? Fire arrow um, in uh, the fireplace. One the other. All right, let's get this one. Not very nice. Okay, so. Toss her on the bed. Well, that wasn't a good toss. Alright, let's try it from back here. Still a little to the left. There we go. And then we're gonna go get the uh, night guard and put him in a compromising position on there as well. Surely that will get him fired this time. That's the ultimate goal of this game, is to get this dude fired. Nice. And uh, I'll put some liquor in here for good measure. My, yeah, my landlord. He must have something new in here. Come on. Well, I wanted this anyways. And two bottles is better, you know. Okay, let's try first person. There we go. It can be a little annoying how hard it is to uh, highlight things in uh, third person. Alright, let's grab this one. I think another reason Deus Ex Invisible would look, because like, look at this. This hallway looks pretty good, but then in third person, it looks pretty good, right? Because your camera's not so close to all the stuff. But then first person, like these, the textures don't look as good, obviously, but these pillars at the end look terrible. You know, really bad. So I think another reason Deus Ex Invisible War looks kind of terrible by comparison is uh, it's forced first person perspective the entire game. So it really, you know, highlights and illuminates all the, uh, 
shortcomings of the graphics. That's two bottles. Man, they just... Not only did they drink your booze and uh, have some fun, but also they knocked over your chair and they stole your pot. Alcohol and pot, people. Every time. It does not mix. Get you in trouble. Lose your job. There you go. The manager's gonna be pissed. Or the landlord. Okay, let's go ahead and save. First, we're gonna go fence our stuff, buy some other stuff. Since we have to go to Stone Market anyways, we're gonna go to Black Market Bertha's Emporium. That is just a dude. Yeah, so here's, it's kind of like the, as far as I remember, right, I'm, you know, don't quote me on this, but as far as I know, it's kind of like the chaos thing in uh, Dishonored. The more crimes you commit every night that you're out in the city, or especially violent crime, the more the city watch will be out looking for you. But, uh... Oh. Aha! What's going on? I'm that we wanted to? Did we rob our land? Yeah, okay. So, yeah, the more that the city watch will be out in force. Um, so you gotta be aware of that. Because they had two guards stationed over here because of the kerfuffle with uh, Lady Elizabeth's men. <laughs> I think it does actually change your hitbox a little bit. But of course, platforming is easier in third person. And of course, I initiated the glitch again. Man, dude, what a fucking nightmare. I have never had this much trouble with uh, this game, really. Like I said, it you know, I'm very thankful to the sneaky upgrade people for this because otherwise we wouldn't be able to play this game. <laughs> but, <laughs> or play it very well. I mean, I've tried to run it. Ah! Really? Yeah, the fall damage is so Super inconsistent. Because you saw I dropped from way higher earlier. Um, is there anything in here this time? Nothing. <laughs> Still nothing up here. save. The good news is, other than fall damage, if you're playing stealthily, you don't really need health for much of anything, typically, so even if you're low health, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I think we're just about to start the faction stuff, which is great, because now I've identified where a lot of these things are, so I can... Uh... where you normally at. Just need that little sliver of cover there to get over. Get some more money from my uh, landlord and his blackmailer here. Yes. A 
Hey, Garrett, how's the thieving going? Pretty good, as you can see. What, you robbed the whole block? This sure is a lot of merchandise. Nice. Oh yeah, I like when you can see little slip. I mean, if you actually look at them for too long, it's very cheesy. It's just a, it's a, just a very basic silhouette with some yellow squares on it, but I love it. I love it. Are we looking for anything special oh, good, tonight, sir? Things, so I'm gonna buy. We hope you find everything you need buy three with this quarantine. We're cut off from our regular I suppliers for a while. As well, because why not? Oil we hope you find everything you need with this quarantine. We're cut off from our regular suppliers for a while. No, you know I'll find those in the environment. We'll go back. Um, I do want to mention. Take your time. Look around here at the well-equipped thief. We pride ourselves on stocking everything a person oh, like I'm yourself out on the might desk. need. Noisemaker, broadhead, I don't need any more of those. Okay. We are good. I don't think Bertha's, or the lady near Bertha's going to have much more stuff for us that we don't already have here. I feel like there was one around here somewhere, though. I don't know what the deal was. Oh, maybe it's because I spooked one of the guys. He just spawned. I don't know. Now we're gonna go to Star Market. Yeah, leveling up the factions is pretty awesome because... Well, I don't want to spoil anything. You guys will see when we get there. Okay. Same plan as last... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna see if there's anything to steal in the... Here again. Yo, with the hood, out of the way. Good, quick save. <sighs> Did I just see what the bloody? I gotta go get paid for that golden uh, dagger. Captain, my arse. If he's a captain, then I'm a... Well, I don't know what, but he's no captain. Yeah, it's not always the same placement of guards and troops and stuff when you come in here. But again, I don't know if there's anything to steal this time. I may have already stolen everything. Which, honestly, that's kind of what it looks like. I don't see anything sparkling anywhere. So I don't think there's any reason for me to come back here. That is a little annoying that's a, that it's a one-off. I don't think it's... Nope, hold on. Uh, there is something. Okay, so it's not a one-off. They just change what loot is available and where. Okay, very nice.
earlier. Burger, burger, I never heard of that before. Someone playing with the torches. So that's all the suspicion he's gonna be uh, stirred by. Actually, look at the way the nothing. moonlight is painted. But I gotta on the check it out. Because I don't think it I? is painted. I don't know. It might be. Uh, mm, nothing spot. here. Guess I am a little jumpy. I'll just try to take things more in stride. Here, I'm gonna quick save again. I don't want to do that. I don't know if this is part of the dynamic light system or if I painted it, but it looks real. It looks great. Did I just see? No, you didn't see anything. What? Did I just see? Aha! Come on, bro. Seriously. I'm gonna have to wait for him to get the hell out of there. I didn't know he was gonna turn around again. I thought he was gonna go back in the room. Come on! Here we go. a boy. Fantastic. Ah, yes. Some gold. Well, that looks like copper, but whatever. I don't care. Loot. on that, but whatever. They're in different racks on the wine rack. Come on, bro. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, it sounded like people running. It's just two people walking near each other at the exact same time. Alright, so I think we're good here. I don't want to tempt fate any further. I kept it pretty quiet so far, and I want to keep it that way. Here's the thing, I think not only can we get paid for that one job, half a minute, with the dagger. Ooh. Hey, guards, over here. Really, dude? God damn it. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but he didn't actually see me do it because I was in the dark, so he just freaked out because there was a body. I think I'll just try and sneak past everybody. That's too much work to do otherwise. Imagine that. A stealth game forcing me to be stealthy? What horseshit. I want my money back. All 99 cents or whatever this is going for now. What ridiculous price it's going for. I think I can pickpocket this guy, though. Hey, walking here. Oh shit, we gotta get out of this guy's way. Make a hard save. Don't trust the quick saves. I don't remember being out in the street being Someone this perilous. Right off my purse. I remember being able to move with just a little bit more freedom last time, but I don't know for sure. already at the place we need to be, but actually we're going to go try and get paid and see bit Black Market Bertha and all of that, so we need to be here anyways, just right around here. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is so annoying, always coming up here, messing with my shields. Go away, buddy. Can't even pickpocket you. Sorry, Gov. Gov. I'm not sure. Uh. Gov, bro. The door I'm makes so much noise that people freak out. Party person. Just it was 
nothing. Just go away. <sighs> go away. Thank you. <laughs> Save again. This is ridiculous. Am I eyes going? coming up here. Just leave it alone. Go someplace else. I don't want you have to fucking be here. Alright. Pick this up. Come on, buddy. Just please work with me. It's gonna have to do. Damn it. He's supposed to have it. And I'm supposed to lift it off him. Maybe it's up here. Nope. Damn it. Well, let me go see if I can get paid for it anyways. Is this the inn? Oh, well that's a much easier way to get get up to him if I need to next time. Much better. I prefer that a lot more. No valuable paintings, no nothing. Drunk guard. The best kind of guard. Really, the only kind of guard in the city. Some drunk ass guard. Um, I need to go back that way, don't I? Yeah, to go collect payment and see Bertha. Are you coming in here? Leave me alone. Yeah, this is another thing. Uh, I think the AI is something going on with the AI due to the patch. I don't ever remember them bunching up like this in the retail version. <laughs> Ugh. Sounded like a... It was nothing. And look, the AI, they're trying to path around each other. But, uh, they keep getting bunched up and <gasps> I just don't remember anything like what this. The... Some... So we got paid for the job that we did. Um, I want to check out that stone cutter too that we saved. And the man would stand before the builder and didst the builder ask, Wilt thou undergo three years? Someone's made off with it. check the crime report too because we haven't been out here in a while like i like the way that the Burnt light moves out, through the, the, vo the fog right there and then that pipe i mean this just looks great you know just imagine playing this in, in 2004 looking at shit like that like, it just looks so real yeah, there's nothing in there well, no one there all oh, quiet Ew. I know the hammers are pissed at me because I they think I stole their chalice. I mean, they're right, but. Uh... Hi, Garrett. It's me, Marla. Hope you find what you need. Buy a bunch of these. Someone told me your place is over in South Quarter, Garrett. Yeah, that's. Is it about you? Guess I just like the quiet type, and me being a chatterbox and all. Oh, this is a fine take. You're some thief, Garrett. It says I stole the golden dagger, so I'm actually gonna go. Maybe I didn't put it in before I reloaded a save or something. 
don't know what's going on, so I'm going to try and put it in the box and see if that works. Um, we may have missed that opportunity, but I mean, since there was stuff in the box, and I pretty much, I don't know, I remember doing it, so. Could be another, I think we picked up another dagger on a mission, on the last mission, so it could have been that one, I don't know. But since there was money in the box, and there typically isn't, I think we got paid for our, our job. We got paid for our work. Yo, with the hood, out of the way. arrow here. Don't see any city watch down there. That's a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and save. And go up this way. Come on, dude. Let's put the hitboxes on well, this punch Well, I've been the doctor, like you told me. And he said I got this here puncture wound, as he calls it. Due to bad humors trapped in my guts. Sounds serious. Not if you catch it in time, no. So you're cured then? Oh, no, no, it's gone all squirrely and black. Doctor says it could be months before it stops festering. I just want to check in on our stonecutter friend here, see if uh, there's any extra loot. Because I think if they kill him, you can't keep robbing his place for stuff. Plus, he had a uh, an order from one of the city's uh, nobility for cutting up a large ruby. Maybe we can pick that up. That would be awesome. Yeah, Eloise Redding. Got anything in his study up here? All right, a little bit more loot. He's not home once again. Very strange. Huh. Well, you know, I would have hoped that there would be more. Uh, impact from the stuff that you do with, in these kind of uh, situations, but uh, it doesn't seem to be the case right now. So, we went to, uh, we went to Bertha, we restocked our supplies, I think now would actually be a great time to, uh, are my eyes seeing rightly? Please don't die, please don't die. Okay, good. My eyes to play the tricks to her at We're gonna go back here. Hopefully, we're not in a crowd of people right now, and then we're gonna go meet Artemis. Hmm. Thought I saw hmm. nothing there. We've done quite a bit in Stone Market in terms of the side mission y stuff, so we're gonna actually go out. <sighs> Too many NPCs in one area. And I, like, Watch where you're going, I eh? This game a lot back in the day. I've never <laughs> seen this. Well, maybe not never, but this is pretty unheard of. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. You know, if you're. St this is one complaint of the hub world. I, I think I, I can understand. Like, it's a fair, pretty fair complaint, you know, that uh, stuff like that. You know, if if you run into situations like that, it can become, like, a little infuriating just trying You've to get to the next You've with mission. the artifacts, Garrett. Here's Excellent. Things. Follow me. Garrett. Better not be a guard around the corner. Let's go. So it was a secret keeper library the whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I just, I, I'm just gonna go there. Oh, I love this. The repetition of these three glyphs. Here. And here. Now is the Termanu symbol. The time is unwritten. The end of the world. And here. Again, the mark of the Fratelli Traderos. Yes. Warnings. Terrible. Unvesagen Zafale. In Doubly cursed in living death. The prophecies are clear. There is much ahead to be wary of. Interpreter Kataka, your words are most useful clear to... Clear as mud. Exactly what will happen. And what are we supposed to do about it? I'm still waiting to see a useful book. We must first understand the unwritten times, if we are to prevent them. First Keeper Orland demands immediate audience. You've moved up in the world, Orland. Nice view. Yes, I have. It's First Keeper Orland now, Garrett. Within these walls, you answer to me. You called me here to remind me you're in charge? The job must not keep you very busy. You inquired about books. Useful books. That's right. You must have something in here worth reading. You think you might shape events more skillfully? Read the signs more clearly? The prophecy. Shape events? Interesting way to put it. I'm here now. Do you want my help or not? Very well. This will admit you to certain areas of the library. Do not venture further. You will not ply your trade here, thief. If anything happens, you will be held accountable. Is this clear? Perfectly. Perhaps you should translate for Kataka. One thing I really like is that while they changed... Uh oh, do I have to talk to this guy? No, I don't think so. While they changed the uh, appearance of Garrett... This is Orland's office. He is busy and has nothing more to say to you for now. Well, they changed the appearance of Garrett in uh, in the third person view and all that kind of stuff. Um, in the cutscenes, especially the animated ones, he's still just wearing like a large cloak, um, and I love that. So, yeah, these are the best uh, cutscenes in the entire. Well, I don't know. Thief Two is a pretty awesome cutscene, but you can't get them in higher quality. Elder Granger. On which quest? The reacquisition of the Compendium of Reproach or of its glyph key? Either. We will need both items in our hands if May we wish to make any headway into our research concerning the coming Dark Age. There would be considerably more progress if the teams were allowed to consult with Interpreter Kataka. Impossible. She seeks the Brethren and Betrayer, and her work must not be interrupted. Then the answer to your previous question is no. What will it take to find them then, do you think? The Council would like time to prepare for the prophecies that are contained within the compendium. They have both been missing for so long, but I am sure with all of us continuing to scour the library and the compound for passages that refer to them, we'll have the precise answer within a reasonable time period. Meanwhile, just in case, I have scribes searching for any book matching its physical description. A large golden slab, sealed with a glyph. So, the Keepers are hoping to solve the Dark Age problem by finding this compendium and glyph key. I'm pretty good at acquiring lost objects. Maybe I can help. So this third game, you can definitely tell, was supposed to be sort of a mashup of all the lore and all of the factions in the Thief universe, but of course, uh, where Thief 1 dealt with the pagan faction, you know, and dealing with the trickster and killing him, Thief 2 uh, <sighs> dealt with the the Hammerites were the main antagonist, um, you know, with the, the extremely zealous uh, offshoot, the, the 
mechanists. Uh, and then in this one, you know, obviously we can see that it's shaping up to be there is there is some sort of antagonist that will be sort of revealed within the uh, the keeper order. So this one's about the keepers. The second one's about the mechanists slash hammerites. The first one's about the pagans. And then this one is technically also about all three, um, because you deal with all three factions throughout, and it's kind of interesting. And of course, since the first game was called The Dark Project, and the second game was called The Metal Age, you can tell for sure that this one was originally not called Deadly Shadows, but Thief The Dark Age. Um, and I'm going to go back, so you'll see that we're going to be reading some books in well, the Well, if this guy here. thought the glyph key was in this sunken citadel, I don't see why I shouldn't go look there. Sounds like it might be a profitable trip. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna read some books here and they're going to make mention to a Dark Age. I'd also like to point out that this study. Keeper Library, the layout of it, as we venture throughout it more, you will notice if you've Good played evening, Thief Richard 2014. Elder. So I pointed out in a previous Let's Play, Thief 2014 is not actually a, a reboot. It's a sort of a soft reboot because it's a sequel and it takes place I don't know, hundreds of years in the future after the events of this game. And you don't play as this Garrett anymore. You're a completely different Garrett. In fact, you find Garrett's mechanical eye at the bottom of a Hammerite prison uh, at the end of the game. So, and you find a Hammerite cathedral, even though there's made no mention to them throughout the entire game. That's where the last level takes place. And then, of course, you find underneath the brothel, you find this library with uh, the key symbol everywhere. So you find this keeper library underneath the uh, the brothel in uh, 2014 and it, it was clearly us. modeled after this we map we'll, we'll explore mind. some more Trust but let's do some subscribe. I... keeper rafe journal entry number 6145 why hasn't the, hasn't council assigned a team for my expedition they know the, dan the dangers they know the dangers how the era they need punctuation here i think there's supposed to be a comma there they know the dangers. They know how the area is swarming with strange creatures. Else why lock the entrance so carefully? How can I do it alone? Still, they must have their reasons. The sunken citadel holds many secrets, and though I am afraid, I also long to journey there again. Most importantly, of course, is the glyph key. How many years has it lain underground? Decades? We were so close to the first with the first expedition. If only we hadn't been attacked, we'd have the key now and the Keeper Soledad <laughs> is it Soledad really? Keeper Soledad would be alive. Oh, Keeper Soledad would be alive. Her death must not be in vain. I will retrieve the key successfully on this next venture. Should be informed of the motive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Sunken Citadel actions. is the same as the Lost City. You forget city yourself, the first Garrett. Two games, but it, it's so visually different in this one that I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Notice uh, from the council regarding the impending dark. There we go. The dark age. You can tell that the original working title of this game was the dark age. I just wanted to combine the two. Since it is of utmost importance, interpreter Katika continue to the, her quest to undercover the identity of the brethren and betrayer. She should not be interrupted for any reason. Also, several elders have been tasked with other urgent endeavors, including the search for the missing compendium of, 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 of compendium of reproach and the glyph key that unlocks it. The compendium, a large golden slab sealed with a glyph, may contain prophecies pertinent to the Dark Age problem, and has been missing for well over a decade. It is useless without its glyph key, which we believe may have gone missing around the same time. If you have been assigned to one of the uh, quest groups, an elder will contact you. So... I mean, it, it's actually kind of warm and inviting, the Keeper Library. I think it's it's much more cold and distant in the cutscenes. Well, I don't know, it's not too bad in the cutscenes, but it's definitely more like an inviting place. If anyone's ever been to Sweet Tomatoes, I know weirdly, you know the, the lamps at the table? They give off the same color light against like similar colors in the in the the sort of decorum and schema of the of the restaurant, and whenever I used to go there, like, ever since 2004, whenever I go there, I think of the Keeper Library. But unfortunately, they were claimed by COVID. That company has been completely shut down, so. Garrett, I have troubling news. Oh, the Hammerites and the Pagans have discovered it was you who stole their artifacts. Both factions are very angry. However, they are willing to overlook your recent crimes. If you are willing to aid them, 
by performing specific tasks. Until then, beware, for they will attack you on sight. A Hammerite named Inspector Drept wrote this missive for me to deliver to you. I contacted a pagan shaman named Diane, and she agreed to post a similar note for you on the outskirts of the pagan territory in the docks. I have done what I can to aid you. Farewell, and good luck. Did you need something, Garrett? Great. The Hammers and Pagans are mad at me because of jobs I did for the Keepers. I better find out what they want, and then did decide whether or not I want Garrett? to bother trying to improve their opinion of me. Sorry guys, I'm just writing down some notes. I'm gonna do a review slash retrospective. Did you need something, Garrett? I really need to get my Thief Gold one out of the way since it's it still hasn't been too long since I played it, but I don't want to go too long. Garrett, the prescribed penalty for your crimes against us is death. However, I hath convinced the Hammerate clergy to grant thee lenience, provided thou first perform enough of the following acts of atonement. First, the rust mites are large gold-colored bugs that feed upon metal and undo our works. Hereby grant thee the builder's blessing to destroy them with your arrows. Secondly, thou can smite the undead, for they are most abhorrent to us. For each of these tasks thou accomplish, your standing with the hammer order will increase a small amount. Whereas stealing from us or attacking any hammerite will assuredly decrease your standing. The choice is thine. At present, any hammerite will attack thee on sight. If they find you on city streets, if thou increase thy standing with us sufficiently, we will allow thee to pass unharmed. Do us many of these favors, and thou wilt be considered an ally and allowed into Fort Ironwood in Old Quarter. Lastly, tis my custom to ask everyone with whom I speak if they have seen a sort of hag, or rumors, or heard rumors of an old gray lady near the scene of a gruesome crime. If so, twould be a great favor to me to tell me what you know. Tis my life's ambition to find the hag, but my misfortune to always be ten steps behind her. My workshop is located in Aldale, near the pub. Builder save the Inspector Dread. <laughs> When you are completely done with your other tasks, go to the Forbidden Library and retrieve for me the map of the Keeper compound. I left it on the second floor, Elder Draco. Hmm. Maybe the scribe is on to something. I should check out this ship, the Abysmal Gale, next time I visit the docks. Uh, I didn't read about the Abysmal Gale yet, that's weird. happens later, I think. I have to go in there. The trouble started when I asked permission to leave the library in order to visit the compound and begin research for a new paper, a treatise on us, on keepers, our history and founding principles. To my knowledge, no such book has been written yet, and it seemed a worthy endeavor. My proposal was well thought out and included chapters on balance and the powers of the glyphs. However, permission to visit the compound was not granted me. In fact, my request was met with surprise and outright suspicion. Surely my idea was a good one, and I would be thorough in my research, and truthfully in my conclusions. But saying so only seemed to trouble the elders further. Then today my duties were reduced. Could it be related to my request? And if so, why? I'm afraid to press these questions further. Besides, who would I ask? Man, I hope if I ever work at a sort of research station or something like that, everyone there's way more into diary keeping than I am, because I for sure uh, if the system shock type situation kicks off, uh, I'm gonna be screwed. Watch and listen. As far as I know, no one I know keeps a diary or a journal or anything like that. to run by this this bayou before I bring it to an elder. You know how we search for the companion of reproach in our efforts regarding the Dark Age? Well, I recently scribed a passage in which the compendium was mentioned. It said it will be borne by a terrible storm. Then later we heard that report about the ghost ship and all those undead. Completely unrelated to our work, right? Or is it? Because the name of the ship is the Abysmal Gale. Do you see? Abysmal Gale? Terrible storm? They mean the same. Imagine if it were my own efforts that led to the recovery of the compendium. 
Tell me if you think I've got something here. Your friend, Scribe Elson. So yeah, so the, the plague ship full of zombies that is keeping the city under quarantine is called the Abysmal Gale, the Terrible Storm, and it is said that the Compendium will be born by a terrible storm. So I, get you, I bet you guys can't guess where we're going next. Keeper Council Report. Keeper Rafe will be allowed to return the sunken citadel to the allowed to return the sunken citadel in an effort will be allowed to return I think they missed two the sunken citadel in an effort to retrieve what he believes to be the lost glyph key that opens a compendium of reproach if his theory proves correct then his success will bring us that much closer to a solution for the dark age however his request for a team has been denied as more than one life was lost on the last expedition we cannot risk another such contingency Furthermore, without proof that the glyph key is located in the sunken citadel, it would be it would be unwise for us to overextend our resources in what could be unfruitful, despite the plentitude of valuables reported by Rafe. Lastly, the council has deemed the citadel unsafe and forbids any keeper to approach the sealed entryway in the dock sewers without prior approval. I think it is the same sunken city because it's in the sewers, just like the sunken city in the first thief how you access it, and it's locked by a, a uh, keeper glyph key. Fine weather we're having, Hello. eh? Artemis, the passage I scrubbed below is all I could find on the subject you requested. Keeper Bellio said... Yeah, I read that right. Said there were other books, but we could not find them. Perhaps someone else is making similar inquiries. Balance Keeper Os uh, Osteria. Balance Keeper Osteria. Scientists, also known as Artifacts... Oh, sentience, also known as artifacts, soul stones, or relics. A grouping of five objects possessing special powers and what is thought to be a consciousness normally only associated with living entities. Presumably cre created as part of an ancient safeguard against the forces of evil. Examples include the heart and the chalice, also called the builder's cup by the hammerites. Efforts to confine all the sentience to one place for study have failed. How and why they came into existence is not known recommend further study so they're referencing the things that we were just tasked to I steal told them the, hmm, were missing. the plot thickens so why did keeper morgan act surprised during the meeting when it was brought up again two elders regarding interpreter Katika from fk orland first keeper many have expressed frustration that the process of interpreting the glyphs regarding the dark age and the brethren and betrayer is taking too long but be assured, Interpreter Kaduka is consulting the books as much as her health allows. It should be said that the constant exposure to the books and the physical act of reading the glyphs has been a terrible strain on her. You will recall that Kaduka is one of the younger interpreters we have had, but already she has spoken of a successor due to the marked aging effect of the readings. For now, Kaduka continues to have readings every day and believes she is close to important truths. For further concerns, please see me. Hmm, okay. Did I not go this way already? Oh, it's, oh, it's down here. This way leads to the forbidden libraries. You may not I enter this library. I can sneak my way in, but I can't let any keepers catch me in there. Well, let's check the... Maybe there's something I need in there. That would be awesome. A lot of <laughs> this plays a little bit more like an open world RPG because of the fact that they it's just like one giant quest log. Hello, Garrett. Orland informs me that you are to receive the Keeper Door Glyph. You must perform the scribe ritual to do so. Place your hands into the indentations on the plaque behind me. That is all. To all acolytes and scribes, it has come to my attention that some of you have not yet undergone the acolyte ritual, and that there have been unsubstantiated rumors about the safety of the practices. The acolyte ritual is a simple keeper indoctrination, is completely safe, and is mandatory for all scribes. After the ritual, you'll be able to see and use keeper door, the keeper door glyph. The importance of acquiring this glyph cannot be stressed enough. Without it, a keeper would be unable to see or open the myriad of glyph doors, secret glyph doors, that have been placed throughout the city to mask our presence bypass city gates, store supplies, and aid our maneuverability. The current citywide quarantine is a perfect example of the importance of the Keeper Door Glyph, as with it we can easily pass between South Quarter and Docks using our secret door near the gate. If you have any questions, an elder can first, 
can assist you. First, keep it low. Very well, Garrett. You now have all the powers of an acolyte. You are able to see and open Keeper doors. Nice. Look for the glyph. Keeper Artemis also wishes to see you, I believe. Farewell. Check this out. What's in here? I've already been here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Because I may actually go to the... I've never been to the forbidden part of the library in this part of the, the game. What is your opinion? About the libraries? I think Orland is right to restrict Garrett's movements. These books are far too valuable to risk. Besides, there's nothing here in the forbidden libraries that a thief <laughs> would want. Unless that it is missing. And I think we know who the thief is. <laughs> are wasting their time writing about me. I'm a thief, and a good one, but I've got nothing to do with their prophecies. The Matter of Garrett by Keeper Draco. Familiari familiarizing yourself with Garrett's history and capabilities could prove essential should the time come when we no longer deem him necessary. Garrett studied with us until his early twenties, at which time he was offered the chance to proceed with the indoctrination ceremony and become a keeper. However, he lacked balance, and instead express, expressed his intention to leave. The council voted we deal with him using the Enforcers, until Kaduka informed us that Garrett was essential to overcoming difficult times ahead. So our most promising acolyte left. Garrett pursued the life of a criminal, and with the Keeper training we had given him, he quickly became a master thief. His abilities did not escape attention of certain individuals, and he was lured into a pagan plot that threatened the safety of the city. During that time, Garrett's eye was removed and used to power the eye, one of the artifacts we are studying. studying. See, Ogil, Ogil, Ogilvy's treatise on sentience from Morbid regarding the artifacts. After the threat was neutralized, Garrett obtained a mechanical eye from the Hammerites. Later, his thieving abilities revealed an excessive imbalance within the Hammerite Order. See the Mechanist Metal Age. Metal Age. For more on this topic, true to Kadika's predictions, Garrett had the abilities necessary to remove the threat and overcome our second trial. Now Kadika has predicted a third Dark Age. She believes Garrett will play a critical role, though the glyphs have yet to reveal if he will influence the outcome positively or negatively. Interesting, interesting. I would very much like to go upstairs and see what I can find up there. Let's go ahead and uh, save. Best situation for me. <sighs> Keeper Dover, journal entry number 2136. I should have known better than to bring it up in front of the entire council. Still, my words had some effect, at least now there is res the resolution forbidding it. I believe that will cause many to think twice, should the temptation arise. Meanwhile, we should all be on the watch for the telltale signs, the dead animals, their life forces drained. It is not a love of creatures that compels me to speak out. No, they are pitiable, but inconsequential. I can only speculate on how long a keeper could extend a normal lifespan in this way. 
a hundred, two hundred? Years? Maybe longer, but it would take more than vermin to accomplish that. Accomplish that. And I know... And I, now that I possess the knowledge, can I... And I, now that I... Can I truly say I am too not tempted? I am... I too am not tempted. Jesus, what a sentence. This is why I cannot remain silent. That in the glyph that Elder Beryl speculates must exist, though we must... We have yet to find. One that enables shape-shifting. What a potent elixir of glyph magics that would be. This is great because it's explaining Stolen. so much more of the plot. How? I'm ghosting this part because I don't want to cause too much attention. Um, see, I'm role playing. I don't want. I'm Garrett, and I don't. I don't want to cause too much attention to myself. You know. I don't want to start knocking people out have everyone get all suspicious and stuff. Don't come back here, bro. Transcript of Ke Keeper Council Meeting, 1054-36. And I can't read that no Roman numeral. Javier, Keeper B Beryl has the floor. Beryl, I thank the council and the first keeper. Today I've prepared a report on the backgrounds of several missing keepers. My goal was to find common elements in the research that might lead to an explanation for their disappearances. Although there was one thing, no one thing they had in common, I believe I have found at least tangential evidence that they could be related. I'll start with Keeper Dover, whom you will remember for his rather unpopular theories about the nature of prophecy and especially his interest in corruption. Tabor, Tabor, Keeper Beryl, the council does not need a discourse on each missing keeper. Have you found a common element to their research or not? Beryl. Well, it's not that simple. I was trying to explain. Savine. Perhaps Keeper Beryl has found several themes they all had in common. Beryl. If the council pleases, I have organized a report and would like to continue with my presentation. Tabor. I move that this information be disseminated outside of the council forum so that each of us can review Beryl's findings separately. If necessary, the subject can be brought up with at a sex, uh, sexequent, <laughs> sexequent, subsequent meeting. Beryl, with respect to Keeper Tabor, all those present, this is a, this very subject has been delayed by the council before, and I, Javier, enough. This meeting will be adjourned for now. Keeper Tabor and Beryl will report to me in my quarters immediately. stairwell up. If I can go on to the third floor, that would be even better. Actually, I'm going to maybe knock this guy out because I need some free rain up here. Did I hmm? Oh, okay. Damn it. my last quick save oh shit <laughs> i'm so screwed well we don't have to read all that stuff we already read it we can just click on them like that mm, back to my meditations we can go up even for oh this is awesome and i love replaying old games like this and finding like tons of new content i never even knew existed this is i had no idea the pagan situation by keeper tallow the pagans have begun to infiltrate into more areas using decaying infrastructure to mask their presence they now have sanctuaries in almost every district diane their high diane their high priest diane <laughs> diane their high priestess was a successor to the pagan leadership after the wood nymph Victoria was desiccated. Diane's often seen with a staff, although it has not been available for her for study. Her commander, Larkspur, is aggressive and dangerous. 
The two control a large number of... Oh, Larkspur's Frown Thief, too. Uh, the two control a large number of shamans who invoke the powers of plants both to hurt and to heal. I believe the pagans are able to accelerate plant growth such that it could rapidly accumulate in a great imbalance. Recommend further observation. Ooh. Saw that there. Just gotta look for that sparkle. So it turns out I'm not I'm not allowed to knock them out anyways, which is great, because that's kinda how I was role-playing it to begin with, so. It's good practice. You're being super stealthy. It's super stealthy. I think the last time I played this I might have been on easy or something, because I have noticed that uh, they do freak out a little bit more on this difficulty. You know, they notice when things go missing and stuff. Acolytes to their destiny, part seven, Enforcers, the Will of the Keepers. The call of the Enforcer is a strong one. Those who wish to augment their strength and swiftness, and those who wish to protect the balance at all costs, are drawn to this dominion. Acolytes should note that once indoctrinated, an Enforcer can only communicate telepathically. The Enforcer's education consists of all manner of stealth training, and specialized weaponry must be mastered. After taking the vow, the glyphs are applied, and the transformation takes place immediately. Once converted by the glyphs, there is no known way of encounter, uh, countering the changes. Elders who are guiding acolytes along this path should take care in revealing the most sensitive aspects of the sacrifices involved. Yeah, we'll get to the enforcers later. Honestly, this this is great because it is almost like the game they're trying to add replay value. You know, like... Um... You know, I've played this game already, and so if you're reading these things for the first time, you're like, what? What are they talking about? But after playing the game already and knowing the plot, you're like, oh, my gosh. That's interesting. Missing. ton of loot. This is fucking ill. Really digging this. So we're gonna do the abysmal gale, play around on the docks. Uh, pro we have enough gold to just friggin' buy the wall climbing gloves now, which is I think like the nothing, last thing. Nothing of importance. Already, yeah, I already just saved. I don't know what's wrong with me. The one who whispered the weather and the betrayer. The one we have dreaded for so long. Last I understand. That's Katika. But I am so tired. So terribly tired. I must rest. This is Soon awesome. I will gather the council and inform them of what I've learned. Soon. Soon after I have rested. Guys, I'm not I'm not Then like, I will have the strength to announce the identity of the one who has been hidden. And for all the inevitable questions. Fratelli Trailerus. Guys, I'm not doing this for uh, theatrics. I literally have never done this before because um I'm always so anxious to get out. Be so many get questions. to the next mission. This is Katika's office, I think. Holy crap. That's a big ass book. It sounds like there's a secret door around here. Yeah, over here, I hear a hum- This almost certainly is a secret door. We gotta figure out how to open it. Because it's probably a shortcut out of here. Oh, that's not good. I may have to reload a save. I kind of feel like you have to put that book on the shelf. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... I'm getting this feeling that that's what you're supposed to do. Ah, no, it's right here. There we go. Here we go. Wow, guys. Uh, seriously, it's it's not every day that a game that you've played a lot and you're really into, 
you're finding new stuff. But that's the beauty of Thief. A secret room, eh? My heart's actually like All I'm actually getting my favorite like, room in the like, house. Some exhilaration from this. This is an insane. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, I've got to calm down here. All right, grab some loot. I'm not gonna extinguish it. It's a too pretty of a scene. Thorinson, an acolyte scribed this passage yesterday. Sound familiar? Meet me, he's old. The safest, the safeguard against the evil ones will be found. The last of all glyphs that can, the last of all glyphs that all can view but none can see. The eye will be borne by the one who will not yet bear the mark. Between the two, none shall come unto. Between the two, none shall come until the unwritten times are upon us. Wow. Okay, well, I think it's time to skedaddle out of this keeper library. The Forbidden Library now. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna leave no trace, right, guys? Nothing, Katika. But I didn't know you could actually go and meet Katika. That's so awesome. I am an old fool. There is nothing wrong. <sighs> that is awesome. All right, so we got to get out of here now, though. For reals. So cool. All right, well, we got a bunch of extra lore crammed in. Okay, he's coming this way. I forget which hallway I have to get to to get out of here, but... I think it's this one. Oh, we looked out right there. Loud-ass footsteps. Come on, let's go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go out in the city. I'm going to go to the docks and buy stuff and then go break into the Abysmal Gale and kill a bunch of zombies. Oh, so old. So tired. I'm just going to make another hard save here. I've been playing pretty fast and loose with the quick saves. Would it hurt to spot, use the Invertimus glyph for a different purpose than intended? I'm not so sure others haven't done similar things already. Good. Even Elder Cronin, he must be well over 90, but huh? he looks and acts and... Oh, but I, I should not talk so... No, I didn't see anything. Nicely done. Deftly, deftly done. Very nice. Okay, well, let's see. What are our objectives? We've got a million objectives. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Go to the docks. Search the sewers and the docks. Blah, blah, blah. Enter the ship. Okay. Alright, so we're going to work on some of our faction stuff right now. We're going to make another hard save. 
got out of there. And uh, yeah, I think it's time for us to get Greetings, back. Greetings, revered elder. An actual pain. Uh, there are some cornerstones. Although, wow, we we got to get to the docks first before we can do those. So we got to do the beetles first. There's one beetle right over here. So, and there's two hammerites there. That's not good. can hear you. I'm gonna get the watch. Don't get the watch. Please leave me alone. Alright, we're gonna crouch here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go. Okay, faction. Okay, hammer status. A little bit better. We need to get out of stone market. Because there's not that many rust beetles here, and it's super dangerous. Super dangerous. It is, it is a very dangerous. Oh god, he's coming this way. Nice, we found a little storeroom here. Yeah, I think you were probably originally going to be able to eat in the games because why would they put all this food and stuff in here? Seems kind of silly. Please, everybody, go away. Check our faction status. All right, it's gonna take a while to get up to happy. What happened to you? No! Why are they freaking out so much? Everyone, chill out. Don't remember them freaking out this much. I'm in the safe past. here. Safe. Safe. If something's there, I'm gonna be mad. Let me get my dagger out in case he wants to come in here. Hmm. Guess I was wrong. Nothing's here. Yeah, it's a shame they took out eating food. It would be nice, but whatever. Hit you. Okay, let's go this way real quick, get in the shadows. Nice. Now, I wonder if there's a rust mite back here, so we're gonna go ahead and save now that we're here. I have a feeling that there is a rust mite around here somewhere. Hate this street, you know. You guys know that. There's, I don't think there is one there. So we're gonna go back. We know in Stone Market there's a couple, and I know of a couple in uh, the docks as well. So we're gonna take care of all the ones in Stone Market, being very careful to be quiet and not get busted. Man, this used to, this used to be my get out of jail free card. Is just go to a different part of the city. Yes, I would like to go here. So that's how the faction system works. It's actually pretty easy to uh, maintain once you... Uh, get it up because you don't, like, once you uh, have um, gotten all the factions on your side because then you don't have to, uh, as long as you don't hurt them or fight them, you'll be fine. Zero citizens murdered, eight valuable items stolen, zero... Li okay, so everything's reset. I think it's, everything's chilled down quite a bit chilled out, I should say, not chilled down. It's late. I've been drinking a little bit. I'm starting to lose my mind. Guess what? Here's another one. Another freebie. And nobody's gonna freak out. Let's go check our faction status here. Oh, great, we're neutral. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, we're almost, we're almost totally copacetic with the uh, hammers. We're actually about to be allies. That's what I'm saying. Like, honestly, it's easier to just... I guess it's not as fun playing if you're you know, because it, it would be nice if there was more tension, like, oh shit, I can't go near hammer places or whatever, but honestly, it's very possible by the time I leave Stone Market, I'll have full, uh, I'll, I'll be full allies with them. That's not one, that's a rat. Okay, good, good to know. I think there's one down this way, though.
might buy a few more broadheads. Don't know, not sure. But yeah, that, I, like, again, between Pavlok Prison already and, and then uh, going that extra, to the extra mile in the library. Now, here's the thing. I'm sure on expert difficulty you have to go in there, but like I said, you know, the AI can be a little bit jank, and, like, you can get these cascading events sometimes, and I, I just don't I don't want to risk it, you know? Oh, can I sell some stuff to Heartless Perry here? I bet I can. But ultimately, we should be moving on to the docks now. Let me know what I can do for you, Garrett. Bird statue. Things Bird are a me. little hot right now, but it'll probably blow over. So these are the other things that you can do, for the pagans at least. Um, now you can fight the undead for their hammers as well, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have killed all the rest mites I need by the time I get to the Abysmal Gale. Um, for the Pagans, it's a little harder. Forget what the second thing they want you to do is, but these are the easiest ones. Um, which is, uh, you shoot an elemental arrow into these cornerstones, and you get uh, you get favor for it. But I, I don't know if you can just sit there and keep shooting. I think it's like... Something in particular you're looking for? Like that. The name's Thomas. If the Sir needs... Anything. Yeah, that's fine. Gonna max these out. Okay, own five. Mine three. Okay, we're looking good here. Own nine. And I'll wait, I'll probably find some. And then broadheads. Might as well just. I'll be like five. Yeah. Glad. So I, pretty, you know, I thought there was gonna be a rust mite in there, but we sold some stuff, so it wasn't a complete waste of time. Oh, well, let's go ahead and save. And I think it's only once per night that the rust mites and stuff show up, so it's like I'm gonna go back and see if this one has respawned, but I don't think that he has. I'm pretty sure he hasn't. Yeah, no, nope. they're all gone still. Okay. And that's the other thing too. There's actually not that many undead in the game, so the See whole like, kill the undead. It's like it's pretty much only one mission where you can do that. <laughs> I'm actually gonna break back in here and see if there's anything. Uh -huh. Come on, Gary, don't be a dick. Why did I, I understand it's supposed to be a barrel, but they should have given it a different hitbox. But then they're like, oh, we want it to be like a physics object too, so we want it to like, you know. Oh my god, seriously? Okay, how about this? Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna. I'm not entirely certain there's not another rust beetle around here somewhere. Oh, because I stole his key, that's why. I don't even need a lockpick. Actually, I'm gonna have to go ahead and pause it again and take a quick break. I'll be right back in a second.
Okay, guys, in the words of the great John Wick, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. And, okay, yeah, recording is still going strong. We're looking good here. Okay. Yeah, guys, if you want to record footage or do a Let's Play or anything like that, you're working with OBS on this game, I would highly recommend... Still no jobs we found. I might have to pawn more stuff. Somebody was in here yesterday when I was out looking for work. I bet they were up to no good. I just wish they had left behind something good to drink. Ain't nothing ever goes my way. I kind of feel bad for this guy now. Doesn't mean I'm not going to rob him blind. He doesn't have anything in here. Um, yeah, just make sure. Uh, this actually goes for Deus Ex as well. I don't, I, I'm don't. i playing an unmodded version. I'm just playing the Steam version. Um of Deus Ex, which I need to get back to that Let's Play. I'm honestly a little afraid to, because uh, the plot is a little convoluted, and I lost track of what the fuck was going on, so... And also, I had, like, a real nice gameplay flow going, and I've forgotten all the controls and all that good stuff, so... You know, <sighs> fantastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you try an Alt-Tab out of the, the program with the menus active, uh, it will crash or freak out. But if you just try it while gameplay's going on, you'll be fine. <gasps> oh, this guy's fucking poor. I keep robbing him. I mean, he's literally got nothing in here. I'll try out here again. Yeah. That's another little trick, guys. If you're trying to move an object, uh, just shake Garrett a little bit and... Uh, I was about to say, man, this is so much better on PC than console, but I have never played this on console, and I have never played this with a controller, so I don't know what I was talking about there. Uh, my buddy played it, and he liked it, but he didn't, you know, he didn't go nuts for it, and I think there's a very good reason why. Also, I just need to make sure, yeah. Yeah, okay, Mike's still picking stuff up, that's great. Okay... I really love to drink things, and I'm not just talking about alcohol, I'm talking about anything. Like, I pretty much always have to have a beverage with me. Black coffee, water, uh, beer, whiskey, uh, Hello there. tea, so like anything. It doesn't really matter. I just need to have a beverage with me. And I love to drink. And I'm not, again, I'm not just purely talking about alcohol. I, I love to drink, period. Even if I just give alcohol together, I would still love to drink. The one thing that bothers me always about drinking is uh, how much you have to pee when you drink a lot. And again, I'm not speaking about alcohol, like anything. Like, I like to say, stay super hydrated. But, uh, I'm gonna open this first before I freak everyone out by blowing up that rust mine. Okay, I'm in the good graces of, uh, the uh, hammers, I think. I think that I'm uh, allied with them. The docks, the poor part of town, <clears throat> full of cramped tenements and surly residents. I wouldn't come here looking for a helping hand, but it's the right place to hire a few murderous thugs, or for those who are in the market for something rare and exotic. Precious imports from ships are stored here until they're moved to more wealthy districts. So the docks can be a good place to rob, as long as you keep an eye out for fishy characters. And of course, the city watch. The quarantine still has the docks cut off from the other districts, but the keeper door glyph got me past the gates. Working with the keepers isn't all bad, I guess. And I have a hunch I'm in the right place to return the favor. If the keepers are right, and there's a dark age coming, then docks is where to start searching for it. It's about as dark as this city gets. And this is actually a very precarious place to be. You're better off going over here to chill out because uh, they'll spawn you right in the spot where you don't necessarily want to be. I also love the, the atmosphere of the docks with the sounds of the sea and stuff like that. Garrett can no longer swim in this game, which is a little bit bullshit, but there's rarely ever a need to. The only thing that sucks is if you fall in the water near the docks here, that's it. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and make a hard save. Let's check our faction status. I'm curious. Uh, it's just hardcore neutral. We're going to get to Allied pretty soon here, though. Um, so, let's see if there's a... I was like, maybe there's a rust mine up here. No, there's not. What's up, Dargo? 
You can sleep. You're sleepy. Um. But I would absolutely love uh, a game with a lot of the mechanics of this one, possibly even being able to switch between third and first person camera. Um, obviously graphics that are using some of this excellent lighting, but of course much, much better quality and higher fidelity. I would love to see them make a game with levels as big as the original Two Thief games, um, as much verticality, and so Dishonored sort of did that, but then of course the open world as uh, I'd love to see the open world as uh, detailed and big as Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Actually, I'd like it to be at least 150 to 200% the size of, of Mankind Divided. Um, and that would be my ideal Thief sequel. And I really like the lore from Thief 2X, so I wouldn't mind Garrett having to go to, like, an eastern city. Like, one that's, like, Middle Eastern inspired or Persian inspired, something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Now, where do I find the note from Diane? I think the note from Diane is over here. Yeah, here's what the recipe. What is that, you havers? A lettering from Diane. I'd be sticking it up here so them thiever Garrett, he be's reading it. Him? Bees, I want to deading him, not leaves him letters. Me too. But Diane says him could be of using to us. Her says no kill. Not yet. Bees, you think him will reads them letter? Bees not matter what I thinks. Diane thinkers him will, and Diane bees always right. They be spooked, and animals can sense things we bees can't. So this is annoying that they don't just send you a library like at the Keeper compound. You have to actually go up and read the stupid letter here. Garrett, my visioning show that it bees you who takered them Jack Knoll's paw from us. This crimes be punishable by deadings, but we bees knows Victoria woods wants want to finding another way. We offers you this deal. First, you do her some things for us, then we lets you live. We have enchanting your bow so you can do us these favors. First, bees many cornerstones in them city that we have readied for you to make greening. Use bees will know which cornerstones because they have greensy markings. Use her mossing arrows on them, then our magicker vines bees will grow there. Second, we bees have elemental cocoons in our territories, shaped like the crescent moon, and bees the heights of a man. Fire your elemental arrows into them, one of each type per day, and bees will add to their strengthenings. When you do one of these favors, you're standing with us, bees will improving a little. You bees not attacking any of us, pagans, or steal from our territories, where we bees decreasing your standing with us. Now you bees are enemy, and you bees attacked by any pagan who finds you on this, them city head streets. Bees, you do us enough favors, we will bees not attack or you on them streets. But bees, you do us very many favors, and you bees our friend and ally. We bees let you into our territory. Bees, your choice. Diane, Woodsy Priestess. Priestesses. So, here's one thing. So, I'm gonna go ahead and quick save. I'm gonna get... <sighs> just once per day I can use that so I gotta go back now um, I'll hit that bug when they're less freaked out because they will fucking flip a shit if I hit that bug right now but that will probably turn me allied to I don't know, one of these guys oh there's this guy right here who's that ah, let me get a fence. look at you you must be that fella Garrett Fancy yourself a famous thief, I hear, but that don't impress me. Anyway, famous or no, old Dahlia will take care of you. If you've got artwork to sell, this is the place. But no funny business, got it? I can sell the rest of my stuff, so we're gonna sell all... Damn. I'm not much for handing out compliments, but 
No regular thief could have nabbed this much. I'm aware of how amazing I am. Thank you. So we're gonna make another hard save now that we have uh, our goals for the new faction. And we are gonna go over check our recording, just cause whenever I get paranoid about it, I'm like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. That's usually when things are not fine. I could have sworn this is a- is this one bugged? I feel like this one's bugged. Well, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I'm gonna go back this way because... I know where the cornerstone in the city- yeah, I wanna go to South Quarter. I could have sworn- I think that one has always bothered me because it's- it doesn't really work right. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you serious? God. <clears throat> I think that did make it go up, so this is the right type of thing. Um, we're going to go around here and see if there's any more uh, cornerstones in this part of the city. I think there were two in the other section. If not, we'll, we'll just make it. Ooh, I don't remember this. I don't think I've ever seen this. Holy shit, I have never seen this. God, what is going on? Oh, no, 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 never mind. This is the... I don't want to do the Lost City right now. I really don't. That one, it's not my least... I, I actually really like it. There's some great bits in it. There's even a whole, like, uh, sort of Mines of Moria section. It's pretty awesome. Like, in terms of lore, reading about it and stuff. But it's just... Uh, I like Lady Moira's Mansion so much better. But maybe I should save it to savor it? I don't know. The store here in the docks is a great place to shop for interesting items i should stop in greetings and thank there you for go. shopping Wall at Coin the undercurrent sam swarthy wow. proprietor yes at your service mm, i i've been working on a motto but it ain't done yet so just get shopping no oh, that's a lot why don't we buy seven so we have a lot oh, hi there you know. Okay, so we're gonna go down here. And we're gonna go ahead and quick save real quick. Um, I don't know if you can just sit there and shoot the uh That sure is a the fine cornerstones all day. Plant. I don't sure would spruce up my place a bit. <laughs> Too bad I can't bring it home. Wouldn't want it in my place. Only reason it's here is because they think it could be dangerous. Dangerous? You mean poisonous or all prickly or something? No. Don't you ever listen to the captain. The pagans were pretty upset when we got to it before them. They were gonna plant it someplace special or something. I figure it's got some oh, there's pagan another witchery stone. attached to it. Oh, I see. Or I don't. It don't make sense. Why'd we take their plant away? Even if it is a bit witchy, they got all cut. I'm to burn you try plants. five. I don't see us holding them under lock and key. Because the Hammerites tipped off the captain. Said yeah, all right, neutral. The are gonna use it for no good or something. This here's some kind of extra rare type of greenery. Anyway, them hammers are so scared of it, they wanted to burn it up in one of their furnaces. Would have too, except the captain wanted to get to the bottom of things, so locked it up here instead. Don't that mean that both the pagans and the hammers will be angry with the cappy uh, and us? Maybe even uh, try and break in and get it. Didn't think of it that way, but yeah, I guess you're right. Watch your back, eh, Freddy? Yeah, you too. You too. Well, I need more help with the the pagans than I do the hammers right now, so. Yeah, I think it's only moss arrows. They say elemental, but trust me, I, I have played with using fire on them a lot, and it just doesn't seem to... 
do much, so. There's another rust mite. If I can get this guy, take him down quietly. Hmm, thought I saw... <sighs> Bloody hell! Now I saw that! Who's over there? down here and try and get to him. Oh, there's the ship. Damn. Yeah, we'll get on the ship. Don't worry. There's another rust mite here. We can take care of that. And we can steal that plant. I'll probably give it to the pagans now that they're neutral. I think I can go in their territory. I don't know. Um, but they won't attack me on site anymore. Plus, we I found two rust mites in this area, so I can get allied with everybody pretty friggin' quick if I need to. So we're gonna go ahead and make another hard save. I remember it took me a long time the first time because I couldn't figure out what those cornerstones were, and you know. Also, I think it's bugged that basically only moss arrows work. They say elemental, but I've only seen moss arrows work, so. bomb on him if I can if they group up I'll just use a gas bomb on him because I'm tired of dealing with these assholes I want to get that plant don't be afraid I won't hurt you ah crates it's always the crates. Oh, nice two for one let's go ahead and save again Don't you love me? Okay, what does it say? Timmy, we ain't got no room in the warehouse right now. Boss says not until Friday. Your best bet is shipping it all. Hope there's something, nothing too bad in the car, but anyway, don't mix it up. Bill, okay. <laughs> okay. Pagan sapling. So I'm probably going to go deliver that to the pagans because I need the most help with them because those cornerstones can only be done once in a while. Can't just keep spamming it. So. Evening. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm going to check the notes to see what it says. Goals. Yeah. Pagans have requested favors for blah blah blah. Shoot, uh, hammers have requested your landlord, city watch, or the pagans want it planted in their hideout. The hammers want it burned, which can be done in the tower. Oh, okay. Well, I will just go ahead and. Should have been a soldier. Oh, that's some real action, that is. I gotta get on the other Not side. Not much yeah. choice. Sure are a lot of them. What? Zombies. Yeah, they came from that ship. I'm gonna go give the pagans that uh, that sapling. I think we're okay now. I hope they don't freak out. I'm gonna save before I give them the sapling. But uh, also, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how the wall, wall climbing gloves work. You just like that. Now that I have them, I can just go over here. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I do miss rope arrows, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's cool that they added that because they could have very easily not and just been like, look, it's a third person stealth game, what do you want, just be happy. But uh, they're like, no, we, you know, let's, what other cool stuff can we add to the game? Um, I will say they don't have as much utility as rope arrows at all, but uh, totally different engine, totally different game. 
Yep, I see more in a day than I reckon most folks ever do. Like when I was gutting that mackerel, but nobody will believe what came out of its belly. Nobody believes old Eli. Guess they think the salt air shriveled my thinking cap. Well, maybe it did. Reminds me of the time I was working my scrimshaw when that metal whale came floating by. It made a sound I won't ever forget. There's even words on it. Cetus amicus. You don't forget a thing like that. Breathed fire, too. So scared I ne nearly whittled my thumb off. Uh, that is a reference to the submarine that you're on board, you stow away on board in, in uh, Thief uh, 2, the Metal Age, called the Cetus Amicus. So, nice little bits of lore and references and stuff like that. So. Now, we're going to quick save. Um, because, well, she's too close to that thing. She's going to freak out. I'm gonna see if I can go in here without getting attacked. Hey, what's up? He's a private place. I be watching you, thief. See. Yeah, if I plant it in here, they can love me. So. Over there is. I wonder if his AI is gonna chill out now that we're we're friends. Okay, so faction. Neutral still? I guess them coward escaped. Or something. Better get back to workings. Status. All right, so. Help me! There be something not crazy. <laughs> and is there? I, I feel like there's something up here. Maybe not. I don't think there's anything up there. I don't know why you can go up there. All right, so I am allied with the Hammerites now, and I'm going to try to look for another cornerstone and ally with the Pagan. That's all I need. One more cornerstone with them, and I'm good. Um, we can try this one. Let's see. Let's go ahead and save again. I'm gonna try it. Now, let me see. What is, what is the damn thing actually say? Shoot moss, moss arrows. Okay. All right. It did specify moss arrows. I'm just an idiot. So I'm going to go ahead and load that save. I do not want to waste a moss arrows. <laughs> a moss arrows. I do not want to waste a moss arrow. Alright, so now i got to deal with the guys at the docks. Is there any other thing I can get to up here? With the wall climbing gloves. <clears throat> and it's only on stone. You can only climb on the stone walls here, but... Uh, to use the wall climbing gloves, but... So you just gotta keep your eyes out for these black stones and then shoot uh, moss arrows into them. But I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty up and up on uh, my faction stuff. I like to take care of that immediately when I play. Step aside. I like that they put gas bombs and gas arrows into it because, you know, the gas arrows are great if you need to snipe somebody. <sighs> now, there's no other guards. Out of the way, peasant. So if I kill these two guards and take them out... I think he just saw him, but whatever. 
space in my sins out in case oh, like everyone's okay. Nobody cares. So I just got the one more guard. He's he's been murdered. Oh, I'm not afraid. Over here. I'll just take a little look see by these crates. Uh oh. Hey, you know what you did? Well, I do it. You're in big trouble. Yo, I'm going over here. Ah. I know my rights. Oh, I'm I'm so <laughs> I don't know why Garrett got stuck. I don't know what the deal was. Where do you think you're going? Oh, nice. Yeah, they put a lot of rust mites here, so you can take care of this shit real quick. I mean, real quick. Don't tell me they taught him how to climb. Wait, is that one of the cornerstones? I think it is. Nice. Oh, I should be allied now. Oh, also it chokes people when you use the moss arrows, which is pretty cool. Again, that's something they didn't need to put in the game. Look at that. He's like choking and freaking out. And the fact that they give you more arrows, like just like you can increase the quantity pretty significantly in this game, um, is kind of a big deal. Uh, because it lets you experiment with all these tools more. It's you kind of have to use what you can in the other one, in the other games. <laughs> I wish they made this ledge just a little wide, because these things will push you to the side here, see? I am going to need to uh, use some of my healing items here in a second. Just breaking into the inn, you know, as you do. I can't remember if there was a murderer in here, or if I killed someone in here and then I was trying to cover it up. I can't remember. It was something like that. Brother Vault, it has come to our attention that the pagans are after a small tree that recently arrived with it. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, basically, they just want me to uh, burn the tree, but I already took care of it, so. So now I'm allied with both factions. That was fast. Again, if you know what you're doing and you keep an eye out, it's not too bad, but um, if it's like your first time playing, it may take a little while to get allied. But now I can actually go over to their sanctuary and um, and uh, they have a healing fountain and they have uh, tons of moss arrows that I've used for all sorts of stuff and yeah so Extra. Doom vessel arrives in the docks. The merchant ship Abysmal Gale floated into port on Sunday with its captain and crew of 28 either missing or dead. Witnesses say the vessel formerly under the command of Captain Robert Moira seemed to steer on its own. Now under City Watch investigation, the curious are warned to keep their distance from the boat. Officer Dirk Lamar explains, with this here cursed ship, you got your zombies, you got your ghosts, plus all the dangers of a regular ship, drowning, splinters, what have you. With that said, this is one reporter that will indeed be keeping her distance. Additional reports indicate the possibility that undead who disembark from the vessel may be congregating in or around the sewers. Ah, that's another way I can get the hammers on my side. But I think, if you check my faction status, I am 100% allied with them. Which makes it sort of moot. I mean, I think, yeah, that... Well, I will tell you this. The progression the first time I played the game was definitely a lot slower for the for the faction system. It was not like, boom. Hello. Oh, shut it, will ya? What a douche. Just grab him some loot. I'm actually going to go back to the Pagan Sanctuary and heal up. And uh, maybe take out that last guard before I go to the Abysmal Gale. And then I'm going to stock up on everything I might need. I am going to need fire arrows, so since I made some extra loot here, I think it's worth it to just pick up some more. I'll get another gas bomb because I used that one to get the sapling. 
Not much in this uh, old place. I also find it funny they have a sand floor. I always thought of it like beach sand. Like this is just like a real ranshackle in tavern. Which is cool. So 23 bar head to 8. So I need to stock up on water if I can. Uh, I don't know if I can actually. Well, water I won't need. Because there's no holy water in this game, I think. Oh no, there is. But you throw it like a bomb. You don't need to charge your arrows with it. Moss I won't need. Fire arrows, definitely want some more. Noisemakers don't really care. Gas doesn't really do much against zombies. I mean, I think it does incapacitate them, but I'd rather just kill them. Open. I think I'm gonna try and snipe the guard so I don't have to worry about uh, fighting him down there. And then I'll make my way back to. Uh... Not a ton of loot in here. Scaring myself again. But again, you're. I need to stay away. I always from wondered why there was real this time. Why there wasn't much loot in here, but you know, when you uh, read more about the pagan slapping, it's like, oh, because you're not supposed to. This is not just for that. You're supposed to be here mainly for. Uh, dude, this guy's hanging out exclusively under this awning. Okay, I can probably get to him from over here. <clears throat> ah! Someone's nice. here. Nice. Sounded close. I'm gonna get the watch. I don't think there's any watch guys left. I mean, I hope there's not, because I fucking took out everybody. So if they keep respawning just to keep the tension up. That's a little annoying. God damn it! Come on, man. I got shit to do here. to the pagans. They're the only ones that love me. Around here. So we'll grab all the moss arrows we can from their little sanctuary here. Uh, you gotta be sure not to steal. You can take arrows, they don't mind, but... Uh, it's not considered stealing, but uh, if they do have gold and stuff like that, don't take it. Just uh, grab it. Oh, is there a way I can get over there? I don't think I've ever seen this part before. All right, so let's try this. Let's go ahead and save. We're gonna... Nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. Those wall climbing goes. Any brick wall, you can just go straight up. Oh, come on, man. Really? So close to doing something cool. I'm definitely going to use them for later missions. So that's the other cool thing, is once you have them for missions, it's pretty neat. Hey, pagan buddies. I love you guys. Oh, I have 20. I'm fully stocked, so... Is it? Almost. Feeders you. Wait, hold on. Shit. Yeah, I accidentally stole from them. Juniper, them sackling tree bees held the ivory. Don't take their stuff. Trying to keep them maxed out. I don't need the loot that bad. I guess arrows are okay. Check the status. Oh, it went down. I think it went down. I need to stop taking shit. Yeah, there's probably Steps more just... careful. I will try. Everyone just relax. I feel like there was something cool. You know, we're gonna go. We're gonna see what there is. I want to see the cool thing that's out there. I'm a little pissed that I uh, not bees pushing. Messed up the. I mean, I'm still allied, so that's fine. And I'm sure as soon as I get back to Stone Market, I know where a couple of cornerstones are, so we'll be good. But uh, still, I want it maxed out.
Maybe it's just a cool view. I was wondering if we could see Moira's mansion from out here. No, not much to see. Okay. These it up to bees and them other shamans. To leaders them all. But many will be losted. So I guess you can't take like for some reason elemental arrows. Well, okay, inside the compound I can't take anything. Outside the green lights, I can take whatever I want. So you gotta be careful about that. That sucks. Because I had a pretty strong lead there. Bees no trees he's left. Bees no herb he's left. Bees no So what I got, whatever I got, if I have anything. Well, what's the delay? You got some Damn, almost uh, 2,000, 2,700, something like that. Damn. Gotta get on it. Gotta get my hustle on. Eating in there. Well then. Since they didn't see hey, me kill the you guard. can't be here! Oh, the others should know about Whatever. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, hope you, uh, find everything you need. Well, thank you, I guess. Uh, nice doing business with someone who don't stink up the place with fish smell. I'm sure you'll be pleased with your purchase. Any problem? Okay, so now it's time for the Abysmal Gale, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna make a hard save. We got new health, full health, more or less. We've got tons of uh, healing potions. We've got tons of flash bombs, tons of fire bombs, bombs. We got nukes, knives, sharp sticks. We have sonic electronic ball breakers. <sighs> Bloody hell! I see you. You made your last mistake. Go to the mission. That got him right. Here. Oh no, there's one other mission. Maybe there's something the in the ship's manifest. Or the captain's law. Sorry, I, I cut him off mid -season. Log. Since this is technically considered part of the city still, there's no- it's not a mission, it's just an area. So that's how you kill him. It's about two. Two flash bombs. Two flash bombs per- and I got twenty. So I can take out, uh, ten of these... jokers. First time I ever played this mission, I didn't think you could, because I was used to playing the OG Thief, and uh, technically Flash Bombs will take them out in OG Thief as well, but uh, it takes like 10, so it's not a good use of resources. And uh, I thought you could only take them out with Holy Water, and so this was super tough for me, but now it's kind of a breeze. It's almost... I mean, it's fun. It's doing its own thing. Alright, guys. One of them died in here for no reason, or spawned or something. There we go, another health potion, very nice. Some more trinkets. We may have to flash bomb that one guard and run for the. But since we're allied with the pagans now, they will. If he chases us all the way there, they will fight him, which is awesome. We need to make it to the captain's cavern, Captain Robert Moira. We have to read, read about him. And he will open up a new mission for us. Oh, that'll take us all the way to the hold. Yeah, he's not in 
there because we came from there. Nothing that way. Oh, I suppose one will do it if we get them right. I think it depends on the zombie shit. Okay. Well, that's good. Good to know. As creepy as this place is, this is a really, like, cozy-looking cabin with the lighting and everything, you know? Um, but, of course, it's uh, infested with the undead, so... They have to ruin everything. I wish that lamp was on. Captain's Log, Day 42. Cook outdid himself tonight. A fine meal, at least at the officer's table. And why not? We've done well on this trip, and tomorrow morning I'll announce to the men that we'll be steering for home. I'm looking forward to seeing my Edwina. I guess a scarf of hers is just as good a lucky piece as that telescope of mine. Day 43. Weather's been fine. We got a full hold and are heading for home. Should be there in less than... She could read some more of these books, but they're all just like whatever books. I could have sworn you get what you need from the captain's cabin, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay. Maybe I just remember coming here first. person for this. Nice. There's still one left? What's your problem, bro? All this festering, putrid steam coming out of everywhere. Yeah, I think this guy's There we go. It's not making so much noise. You're trying to trick me. Ooh, ooh. Piece of candy. And then they're gonna try and say, hey, just go down there, it's fine. I'll take the stairs, thank you. Go buy more flash bombs. Zombies are eating me out of house and home. I'll take this way, it's a little bit better. It's got a ramp. It's almost wheelchair accessible. The city has very strict ordinances about uh, accessibility. Even on plague ships. I wonder if the map itself is... I don't think it's the size of the model outside. I really don't. But it would be cool if it was. Room. 
I bet this place encourages flash photography. Right near the... Oh, I thought that... I, I thought the porthole was the outhouse. And I was like, okay, just leaving the holy water in the bathroom. That's cool. The abysmal gale. That's the thing, like, holy water is kind of an expensive resource, and flash bombs are not. Okay, so it's kind of weird that they would be like, oh, you gotta use the holy water, and it's like, I'll oh, just use the flash bomb, it's so much easier. And less risky. There he is, right on the floor there. Thought you could sneak up behind me by pretending to be dead. Alright, ship's manifest. Been a fine take, but nothing real. Been a fine take, but nothing real exotic like last trip. Like that golden slab with the strange symbol. Now oh, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Couldn't seem to make a dent in it or split it up, so I took the whole thing home with me. Captain's prerogative. Edwina doesn't know, wouldn't want her to. She'd just ask questions and she wouldn't like the answers. I'm less of a merchant ship, Captain, and, and more of a pirate. And we only found that gold slab because we saw a cave that looked like a good place to hide some of our hull. Lo and behold, someone else must have thought it was a good hiding place, too, because there was treasure. Some traps around it, too. Lost a few good men that day. Edwina doesn't have to know all that, does she? Heck, she'd just fret and worry. Like that time she found out about the secret boathouse near the cliffs by her home. I had a real time of trying to explain that one. <laughs> The object described in the manifest must be the compendium the keepers are looking for. Sounds like it was brought to Captain Moira's house. I don't know if... Yes, I would like to leave. Oh, I gotta enter the docks? Shit. I'm gonna... I'm about to get in a fucking firefight. Or something. Oops. Okay, uh -huh. That's the way! Give him one for me! <clears throat> Alright. What? I'm going to show you the faction system right now. Go over to my buddies here. Get Excuse out of my me. way, please. Run from the car. Don't even ask. Run from the cops, guys. Everybody, get out of my way. Do need to restock on flash bombs, though. So if they come in here and try to mess with me, they'll all die. Alright, so it's still the same night. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to... Uh, I'm going to find a boat in the dock, docks and take it to Captain Morbid's Seaside Mansion and steal the companion real quick. Oh, okay. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so since they didn't come after me, thank God, what we are going to do... See if they did, because it's fun to have the cops chase you in here and then the pagans go nuts on. I think we're good though. Hope you got something good, Garrett. Business ain't what it should be. All right, yeah, I need loot. I need a new mission, and Lady Moira's mansion should fit the bill. I'm kind of tempted to do the the Lost City mission first. Just because I want to save her Lady Mortar's mansion. I like it so much better. Hello, how are you then? A little ale would taste good right about now. Maybe I'll find myself a couple. So, so did the abysmal gale. Yeah, I think maybe we might actually do lost city first. Nah, nah, that would be a because I want to uh save Lady Moira's for even better time, so, yeah. Hi there. Welcome to the Undercurrent. Uh, let me know if I can help you find anything. And don't break nothing you can't pay for. Got it? Hmm. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome to my store. 
Might as well keep stocked up on those. Yeah, we'll do the we'll do the lost city first. The sewers near the docks. Okay, so that's gonna be right around here. Just because I like Moira's mansion so much, and also it feels for me it feels a little bit further along in the plot. You know, I don't want to just do it like, right away. Um, I want to build up to it a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and save again. I know it seems crazy to you, but I, I don't know why. I'm just, cause shit happens when you're recording, when you're playing. There we go. Can't go through there, okay. Yeah, this is the way to the lost city. Looks like I found the entrance to the sunken citadel Keeper Rafe talked about in his journal. According to him, the glyph key disappeared underground sometime too long ago to think about. Rafe also mentioned caverns swarming with strange creatures. Guess that's why the Keepers put a glyph lock on the entrance. It would be nice to know what sort of creatures, but the Keepers have never been much for useful detail. Turns out not only did the glyph key disappear down here, but so did Rafe. The Keepers never sent anyone after him, but I don't expect he's still exploring the place. I don't have any good leads on where to look for the key, but I can start by looking for Rafe's remains. Find the Keeper glyph key, get back to the surface by returning to your entry point. Searching for Keeper Rafe might be a good start. Keepers are on excursions often marking... Oh, Keepers on excursions often mark their trails with glyphs. Here, I mean, it's what I brought with me. 18 water arrows is a little, uh, but as I recall, you don't actually need that many water arrows for this one. And I, honestly, I'd like a chance to go back to my previous uh, uh, fences and stores to stock up on water arrows before Lady Moira's mansion. Um, everything else is looking pretty good, so we are gonna. We're actually. I can't believe we spent 6,000 gold, um, but we bought a lot of stuff. I mean, 15 fire arrows is pretty, pretty bomb. So, map. Yeah, oh yeah, I have a, a Kershock uh, map. Theater, throne room, library, bathhouse. Okay, so. Okay. I'm just trying to get my bearings and find a good place. You know what, guys? It's actually kind of late for me. And this has been going for a couple hours. Uh, I want to make sure that we get the files saved. You know, it's better to split it up into small chunks that are good rather than let the recording go on forever and risk losing the rest of it. So, um, this is the Sunken Citadel, at least the, this version of it, uh, in Thief Deadly Shadow. So we'll be doing this one. Yeah, because I want to build up to Moira's Mansion. Um, as I said, it's my I think it's my favorite mission in all of Thief, for sure. So I really am wanting to savor that one. And I wouldn't say the game is downhill after that, but it's just like, since it is my favorite mission in all of Thief, so, you know, like, there's some missions after that, they're fantastic, um, but there's also a lot more, like, having to run through the city, and as much as I like that, it, it gets a lot more difficult because of things that happen in the story, so we're at sort of the sweet spot in the game where it's, like, optimum fun, and I think Moira's Mansion is just, it's the perfect balance of, like, a good challenge, but also, like, not so hard that you're, like, you know, pulling your teeth out. Um, so, uh, you know, like, for example, you, you break into an art museum at one point, and I wouldn't say it's insanely hard, but, uh, well, actually, that one's a really good one. It's a bad example. But, um, actually, a lot of the stuff that you have to do in the city, because it's it's one thing to just dick around in the city because you want to. It's another thing to be dicking around, the, like, having to sneak through certain parts of the city that are swarming with guards and whatever else because you, uh, you're required to. 
Oh, and I forgot. There's also a ton of zombies that... F that well, I'm not going to... Gonna spoil anything. All right. So, anyways, guys, thank you for joining me for I think this is episode three of Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows. I'll be picking this up again probably tomorrow, and we will be finishing this mission and then Lady Moira's mansion. Um, and then actually, there's not a. That's a that's a bit over halfway. That's not, that might even be almost two thirds. I don't something like that. I don't know. Maybe maybe a little like sixty percent maybe. Which is yeah. 55 60 percent something like that so we'll be picking it up again uh again i want to thank you guys for well, well, let's just make a save that we're in the there we go outer citadel i want to thank you guys again for joining me for this let's play of thief deadly shadows and be sure to check out the next episode coming up very soon thanks for watching